Hey guys. Hello everybody. This is Ethan. You like that? Who is this Ethan? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Guys, welcome to the show. Yes, it's November 18th. It's so close to Thanksgiving. Right. And we have so much to be thankful for, don't we, folks? Most of all, you all watching at home, who we love so well. And That's of course, right. Elon Musk, who I'm just thankful that, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he's a lot, we're alive in the same era as a great man like him. What an honor. It, it is quite an, it is quite astonishing to see. The Da Vinci him. of the modern age. Money! It's incredible, actually. It is kind of a, 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 a once in a lifetime thing to see what's probably going to be the greatest business failure and singular business mm -hmm. failure in human history, perhaps. I mean, and maybe even having something to do with it? Yeah, I probably annoyed him a little bit. I don't yeah. know if I said I had something to do with it, but I definitely annoyed him. You made a little dent in the decline there. Yeah, uh, I declined. declined. Ethan declined. The decline. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome to After Dark. We got a great one planned here, as usual. Lots mm -hmm. of fun to be had. How's everybody doing? We don't have an ad today. We do have an ad today. It's the Teddy Fresh Black uh, Friday uh, sale. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is the last week of Black Friday. <coughs> it ends next week. So head on over to teddyfresh.com up to 70% off. Wait, it ends next week? Yeah. Next week is Black Friday. Yeah, right. it ends. Friday, Black baby. Friday is Friday, so it ends at the end of the weekend. It ends Got it. Cyber Monday, I think. It okay. ends. Friday, Cyber, baby, yeah. Cyber Monday. Yeah. Um, My Irish Monday. Still lots of goodies, although quantities are getting low. So if you're looking for an opportunity to get some fat discounts, which basically, you know, it's not going to be happening again here. Mm -hmm. uh, Teddyfresh.com. So go check it out. Thank you guys for your support on that. And Appreciate then, that. December 1st will be a new collection. Oh, show that off. That's crazy, bro. Look at this bedazzled ass. That's kind of everything, isn't it? This is today. Cool. This look for me is like I wish I was a musician. That's the vibe. Oh, you would go. I out wish I was a musician, that? but I'm gonna wear it anyway. Is the vibe. And, and and this is unisex, right? Yeah. And you have the pants on as well. Yeah, I'm wearing small. Oh, that's hot. Men's small. Sick. So dope. It came out so good. Yeah. Love that. There it is. That's coming out December uh, next month. The new stuff. You know how it is. Also, quickly at the top of the show here, trading cards have been going off the shelf, folks. Uh, Trading.shop, spelled weird, T-R-D-N-G dot shop. 100% of all the money earned goes to the crew. Um, the new pack here is just all kinds of good stuff. We've showed it, but here, actually, this, these are nice pictures. Um, yeah comes in the pack. Uh, these are great. Whose finger is that? Whose? Where? Oh, th I think that's um, Max. That's oh, Max, okay. yeah. The, Should we take like, a close look? I no, mean, his I was thumb, like, I don't well manicured, this. but interesting <laughs> shape. This thumb. Interesting <laughs> shape. Funger, funger. I, think he's, I think he's got nice hands. Yeah, they're good. I wasn't criticizing. It's just like no, yeah. isn't it just kind of interesting that I could tell it's just not flat. it's not one of us. I knew it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you know our hands. <laughs> yeah, our hands. No, I knew it too. Isn't that weird? Like the <laughs> complexion or something. It's just not right. Keep your hands off my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, Jordan, so angry these days. Anyway, uh, trading shop. Pick up the pack, um, and support the crew. Hundred percent goes to them. Thank you, thank you to everybody who ordered. I guess I should say too that the um, the initial stock did sell out uh, the other day, I, yesterday or something. Um, but the, it's still available for pre-order for the second wave of them. Yeah, you just won't get it before Christmas, but you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Yeah. Um, also, thank you to <clears throat> thank you to. Uh, uh, Sean Dub, who says free Ela, which I agree with. <laughs> Ela has been done so dirty. So Elon dirty. Musk, he's out to get me, bro. Yep. Next thing he's gonna call me a pedo on Twitter or some shit and try to fuck, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm. Like he did, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking dirty. about. Dirty. Hey, thank you. Um, why Twitter is insane. Twitter's a rap. <clears throat> he just got unbanned, though. Rap Elon just announced, uh, Jordan Peterson no longer has to erase his. Uh, insanely hateful and inflammatory tweet towards 
Elliot. I didn't know that page. happened. Yeah, After he just announced it. That's part of Elon's new thing. Well, here, let me pull up this tweet he just put out. Um, oh, one thing, one other thing. So, see you next Tuesday, which is the members only podcast, is now live. I'm doing a live stream live. for members on Tuesday. It's super fun. I did one last week. It's up now for members if you want to go back and watch it. But yeah, members get a a live, an extra live stream on Tuesday. It's great. Super looking fun. for it after you did it and it wasn't there. I saw people Was saying, I doing something wrong or it no. just wasn't there? Well, it's going to be in the live tab oh, now. This might have it's, to do with the confusion I from think YouTube. I looked even there. I saw people saying that yeah, it was it very hard to find. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, it's huh. getting views. It has views. So yeah. people figured it out. But I I saw other people saying that. Yeah. Interesting. I wanted to watch it. I still haven't. Maybe we... It. Well, there's a members it, tab on the home. Yeah, page. I know. It wasn't in that? No. You don't the video that? will be linked on social media like Twitter. But it was like a, a day off, so I don't know if it takes yeah. time for it to Instead show up. Instead of going to the community tab, you have to click the membership tab, and then it's there. That's so stupid. Uh, they gotta fix this shit, dude. <laughs> like, I appreciate that you guys are trying to do like new stuff for <laughs> us, but like, y'all gotta make sure it works. God damn, dude. Well, it just means all of our podcasts are in three separate tabs. Yeah, now. makes sense. <laughs> There's the video tab, the live tab, and I yeah. guess the members tab as well. So. Yeah, it's easy. And not to be confused with community tab. Oh, and, and not the, the community home, tab, right? On the home page, uh -huh. which was traditionally they have this uploads, which is yeah. auto-generated by YouTube. They stopped showing lives there. Yeah. Right. So I had to make a, my own playlist for lives mm -hmm. and put it there on the home page so that people could find it because we were getting emails from nonstop from people, even big creators we got from, mm. who were like, yo, what happened? You deleted all your shit. And it's oh. like, no, YouTube fucked me in the ass. We'll do it live. <laughs> That's what happened. You know what we realized uh, yesterday, too, is they took away the ability, when you go to a YouTube channel, you used to be able to sort the videos from either newest to oldest or oldest to newest mm -hmm. if you wanted to you go. You can't do that? can't do that anymore. What? Yeah. That's one of my favorite things. Yeah, you can't, you can't go back in time easily. You have to scroll. Well, I know some Why? channels turn it off. Okay, so maybe you check. Let me check. Video. It's for all channels. Oh, fuck me, dude. You're right. Dude, what the hell? I don't know why they took that away. <laughs> that turns me on. That turns me off, Hubba John. Anyway, guys, uh, live streams on Tuesday for members. So thank you, everybody who's a member. We love y'all. So dang much, appreciate you. <laughs> Man, I, I almost, I need to recap the Howie Mandel episode because we didn't oh get a chance God. to talk about it. <laughs> we did the leftovers, which was great, but mm -hmm. ho that Howie episode was something, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot of people say it was the funniest episode <laughs> of the show. And I, down. first of all, got to appreciate Howie for coming into yeah. a lion's den, let's be real. Yeah. I've been the main uh, propagator of the uh, <laughs> Howie Mandel TikTok, and uh -huh. he came here with open palms and here to break bread with me, and that, that's pretty epic. Yeah. I'm fine! Also, <laughs> thank you, Cam. Yeah, I love that. Cam's blooming. That's going to give Howie <laughs> PTSD every time he's No, whatever. Cam! <laughs> no! Uh, and somebody oh, pointed out too that he's probably, um, I think the only person as big as him that we've ever had on the show is maybe Jack Black, but like right. as far as like a mainstream, like not yeah. not internet yeah. culture thing. I mean, he's, yeah, maybe he's on one of the highest rated network television shows in America, <laughs> and yet nobody watches his podcast unless I'm on. Is that mainstream? <laughs> his audience is like yeah, he's right. Mainstream. They don't even know what YouTube they don't is. Even know. That's true. That's true. Good point. You yeah, also I gotta thank uh, Hunger FF, this guy was Yeah. Awesome. What a Legend. what a guy. I mean <laughs> it takes a special kind of guy to just drop trow and prolapse. Oh right, my god. You. So like confidence um, right. through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was he, he was very uh, he texted me after, he was very appreciative to come on the show. And yeah, he's a thank you and well, he's a great guy. I actually saw a lot of fan love for Hunger FF. He's just a, he's like a really sweet guy. He has a really nice yeah. disposition, and um, and he's the Dan <coughs> of another world. Oh yeah, he's it's Bizarro Dan, <laughs> where his expertise is prolapsing instead of tech. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Jacket off. Well, you don't know what my Wait, other talents say? are. Jacket <laughs> off. Why are you jacking off? <laughs> That one doesn't, it's so boomy, it doesn't even really sound yeah, like it's boomy. Jacket off. Jacket off? I can't tell that I can't even there. tell what he's saying. Wait, like, what are you, oh, jacket right. off. 
I don't know. All right, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Dan was said jacket off. Oh, jacket, jacket off. off during the um, egg jacket drop. So we thought maybe we could work that in there, but <laughs> yeah. didn't really work out for us. Yeah, but um, the first time he dropped trout, and I was so excited for this moment. I wasn't sure what how how he was going to handle it. What. But I was just like, this was for me such a great culmination of things to make <laughs> this happen. And the fact that we were able to reach out to Hunger FF, yeah, get him on board, get Howie in the studio. It was really like um, the whole time divine. he was like, I don't want to talk about the prolapse. And for me, I knew like the whole episode is about Two it. hours. And not only that, we have somebody ready to do it for you live <laughs> i know and i was kept, gonna have a heart attack like the whole time just thinking about it i was so i was so happy and like it actually went perfectly howie was a good support about it. i wasn't sure if yeah. he like, how he's a good support he's he's got a great sense of humor obviously he's a comedian yeah very uh, accomplished one and so when um hunger dropped trout and the first prolapse he did was like really extraordinary mm, i didn't look I, I saw. I looked a little bit the second time. The second one was nothing. I heard. One. That's what everybody yeah, then, said. Because the you guys didn't. For what happened in the first one? You guys lost the footage. Yeah. No. I, I explained that we had that tech issue in the middle of the Howie episode where Ian's computer crashed, and I didn't realize. But it the feed that it was sending to my computer froze at that point. But I didn't notice until his. Um, uh, lower intestine tissue was uh, hanging out of his sphincter. Although his we, ass meat, Dan. Yeah. Excuse ass you. Meat. Please be polite, Dan. <laughs> uh, respect <laughs> Hunger. He's a good guy. Yeah, we got, uh, a, we got a little bit of... Yeah, it's in the BTS. Camera, yeah. yeah. It better not be in the BTS. Well, uh, not... <laughs> right. I meant it was recorded <laughs> on his camera. It, damn, it will be dude. censored. It's, it's in my private collection. Yeah, your it's spank bank. Yeah, um, but it is on Twitter. We did capture. We did capture the full first prolapse and it is on twitter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah howie's reaction was, <laughs> was just great and uh that was just a great one man his meat mountain somebody said <laughs> howie also went from what like 50 to seventy thousand subs so you know he got something out of it right mm. do you believe how i've been thinking about this a lot he says i thought it was wet pudding he's lying He's definitely yeah, he's lying. so full completely of shit. lying. He I knew exactly. So full of shit. He said, "Ow!" Oh, because, like, yeah, yeah, ow. Yeah, that's the tell. And my friend Neil wow. bent over. He says, "My friend Neil bent over." What does that got to do with pudding? My friend Neil bent over, yeah. and this happened. Ow. I took it down. Okay. <laughs> he knew it was a prolapse, but he's he's lying because he thinks the sponsors will forgive him or something. What do we do about innocent. it? I believe him. But it doesn't make sense. If for the sponsors, I oh, believe him. You're covering for him. You're running deep for him. I think even even though he was talking about the sponsors, I think his bigger concern is his role on uh, ATG or whatever. You think Simon Cowell's like <laughs> stink eyeing him for? Well, me? I mean that show is very wholesome and family friendly and everything, yeah. and he's he's one of the faces of that show. And uh, I just yeah, I, I, it's, just, <laughs> it's just a little bit ridiculous that. <sighs> Anyone gives a fuck about that. You know what I mean? I agree. It's it seems like, like an overreaction. So, it's so yeah. annoying. Like he actually lost. It sounds like what I assumed. This isn't what he told me, but he said it was a back to school thing. I assume he lost like a big TV spot for back to school, probably with Staples or something. That's just a total guess. Mm. Intel. But that's probably like a fat fucking deal, like millions of dollars. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. They needed to embrace it. I mean, it's one of the greatest moments. He should have been there with the rose in hand, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> embrace that shit. Hand. He could do a Preparation H ad or some shit. Oh. That's interesting. You should text that. Yeah, he, he's lying, though. I mean, he did say it was an educational experience for him. So, I mean, maybe they should teach that back to school. Yeah. I mean, right. <laughs> I think right. so. Hey, I was thinking, I forgot to ask Hunger. You know when you get a um, a prostate exam, you put the finger in, you feel for a bump. I think that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But if he can prolapse for the doctor, he doesn't need to get a finger in the butt. They can visually inspect it. <laughs> right? You don't need to come to me. I'll come to you. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's kind of good, like because then you're definitely not going to miss it if there's something wrong. Oh, by the way, this ad is sponsored by a uh, Polish hemorrhoid cream, brought to you by. Actually, that's true. 
No way. Somebody got an ad for <laughs> Procto <laughs> Glyvenol Polska. Ow. I love that. Which is a uh, hemorrhoid cream oh, in Polish. What was the, the Hebrew uh, term for prolapse? <laughs> uh, oh my god. How we kept saying it. Znichata Chalcholet. Yeah. I've never heard that word. Oh, I got a Staples Howie ad on the Howie Live. It was definitely Staples then. I fucking know exactly what happened. He lost. See, I thought he was. I was like, what could you have lost that was so big? A Staples back to school ad. That's crazy, bro. That's definitely seven figures for him. Yeah, That's sure. Awesome. I mean, it was a national campaign and everything. Oof. Well. Ow. Then it's a little understandable that he was yes, a little nervous I about didn't it. Real, I, di I didn't think that big, right? Wow. It <clears throat> made me realize how desensitized I am to being canceled. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, what's the big deal, bro? You lose sponsors every fucking other week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also, I hope he knows that when people comment, we will never forget. It's people saying, like, we love yeah. you. They're participating yeah. in the joy yeah. of the meme. For yeah. sure. I tried to explain that to him, but I don't yeah. think he understands. <coughs> that you. it's all love. You're very special. Um. Oh my God, no! This is the ad. Yeah, it's full circle. No uh, fucking way. I was guys. thinking that, right? Because people were memeing with that a lot. Oh, that oh no! Makes sense. We that, we ruined it. We that ruined makes it. sense because they turned the ad campaign oh into the prologue. Oh my prologue. God, that's even yeah. better. And it's even red. In like no like way, it's though. No way. That kind of makes the kind story. of a high profile for Staples. Everyone's thinking about Staples. Right. <laughs> Back to school, though. No, my God, that's totally what happened. Oh, that is funny. That makes the story even that much more iconic. He was popping out of the prolapse. Yeah. <laughs> Can the things you're curious about happen with a whole new Staples? Let's find <laughs> out. Let's find <laughs> out. We're gonna find out. Get canceled. Oh my God, Howie, this is such bad timing. Uh, I can't believe this. Hey, Ooh. it's birthday, boy. What clock, Gabe? Happy birthday! It's White Claw Gabe! Eat my pussy spend the night! 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 Did you start drinking already? I'm on my fifth shot, baby! No wow. shot! Wow. Fifth shot, baby! Ooh. Someone punch you in the balls? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Gabe, you got the matching yeah, hat. You got the light. I think the only thing missing is maybe a chest tattoo. Oh yeah, that would be pretty dope. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> would you get a white claw chest tattoo if I paid for it? I don't think so. No, it looks too, it looks too artificial. <laughs> I want to be natural, baby. Uh, but, but yeah, you yeah. like that natural Ooh. look, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, buddy. How old are you today? Woo, five one, baby. Woo, five I'm one. Really? You guys you better show oh up, baby. Man, you, you look. You don't show up. You guys are a pussy, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah. And Zach, woo, woo, especially Zach, you better show up or there's going to have some problems, motherfucker. I'm going <laughs> to rearrange them. You better show up, motherfucker. Fuck, baby. Zach, you hear that? I did hear that. <laughs> you going to be there? I'm unfortunately not going. What? Oh no! Yeah, my friend got me tickets Ooh. to a concert. I totally blanked. I fucked up. Oh my Dang. god, Gabe, we gotta get you in here to hey Zach. Problems. We gotta. Is, can we? <laughs> There's gonna be some problems. Yeah, there's gonna, gonna be problems. <laughs> Wait, can we? You we break your do knees, something. Zach. Next week, can we bring Gabe in to haze you in some way? Sure. You heard that, Gabe? I, we're owe, gonna... that, I owe that to Gabe. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What does that mean? It means to. I, we're gonna do something terrible to okay. Zach via Gabe. Yeah, mother Sounds fucker. like a plan. Mother, you motherfucker. <laughs> You fuck bitch. you, Zach, you bitch. Shit in <laughs> Zach's eyeball, baby. Shit in that Zach's foreskin and tuck it back in, bitch. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm circumcised. Fuck yeah, baby. Gabe's probably not. Oh, yours is, though, yeah. Shit on a, shit on a uh, ear swab and stick it in my eardrum, baby. Baby. Ooh, fuck ooh. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, here's one. Use a wet wipe to wipe my ass and then blow my nose in it afterwards, bitch. You like that? That's a good one right there, yeah. bitch. Bitch. Ooh, fuck bitch. yeah, baby. Ooh. Take a dump in my hat and then put it on and wear it all day, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
Well, it is Friday, so always a joy to hear from White Claw Gabe, who's 51 today. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't believe that. You're making Thanks, 51 Thanks. look good, yeah. dude. You look good for your age, birthday. man. I, I gave you 40. <clears throat> You're way older than me, though, because I'm only 37. Mm. Oh. Not old yet. <laughs> Wait till you turn 50. Let's Why talk you lie about, about your age? Old. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. I'll call you when I'm 50. Ooh. Bitch. We'll have a party together. <laughs> Baby. Any Baby. strippers tonight? <laughs> Any strippers Ooh. tonight, Gabe? Gotta be a surprise, baby. Fuck, fuck, fuck yeah. Okay, Ooh. okay, okay. I just say a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise. Bitch. Ooh. Baby, fuck bitch. Fuck yeah. What, would you let a stripper shit on my chest, baby? Yeah, shit on my chest, baby. <laughs> would you let her though? Would you let a stripper? No, but that's real. White. Yeah, would you let her? Would you? <laughs> some white, some white shit. <laughs> Diarrhea, white shit. Well, we're not. Baby. We're, we're declining to answer. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, you're dodging the question. Would you let a stripper shit on your chest? <laughs> I think you would. I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. Do you have, yo, bro, dude, you ever played with, okay, let's go. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm going to get someone to shit on your chest, Gabe, okay? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. My ass, Thank you, Olivia. Happy, Happy birthday Shit my nostrils and shit fucking piss in my fuck, eyeballs. Fuck, baby, fuck. Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> Slap me in the eye mouth. Happy birthday to, to you. <laughs> All right, brother. Ooh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you. I'll find a stripper who's who's okay with this. I'm gonna have her shit in a baggie. I'll send it to you, and you decide what it, you can do whatever you want with it. How about that? And it's between you and the baggie. Right. Sounds fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good, good, good. I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you decide what to do with it. You can throw it out. You can put it on your chest. It's up to you. Gabe, <laughs> oh, happy birthday, God. buddy. Happy 51st. You're the man. Hope you have a great night. And I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. So drink. Right. Yeah. All right. Love you, buddy. Appreciate see the love, baby. Yeah, of course, man. Have a good um. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving because we won't see you next week. We have Thanksgiving off. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Shit on my turkey, motherfuckers. Woo. Bye, dude. <laughs> God, God bless you. God bless turkey. you. It's so but shed turkey my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out Gabe might have a scat fetish. Mike. Well, he was defiant. He usually I mean, we answer. can only speculate. He said white shit. What's a white shit? Seagull I, poop? Uh, maybe dog, white dog shit? I don't oh, know. I thought he said white chick. White chick poop? No, like he wants it to be a white girl. What's no, I, th I actually heard white shit. Oh. That's a white shit. I, white sh I'm as lost oh. as you. Like white claw? Uh. Oh, uh. maybe he was doing a little play on words there, yeah. Uh. I think he wants a strip. Oh. Uh. Maybe he thought maybe. stripper shit looks like bird shit. Just white. <clears throat> I think that dude wants a steamer on his chest. I mean, in all the best ways possible. I mean that respectfully, of course. Of course. No kink shaming. Of course not. I would never. Shit's that's why I said. Out that's out why out I said. Oh, life. you put it. I'll put it in the bag. I'll send it to you. You do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. Human fecal matter. Happy birthday, graceful. Yes, graceful. We love you. Peace and love. So, yeah, I mean, shit, I, I still didn't get finished uh, digesting this. That is 1,000% what happened. There's no question in a minute. I mean, the guy's yeah. coming out of a prolapse. It's like, yeah. Goatsy, what are they thinking with this? <laughs> from the, from the get-go, this was doomed campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's I weird. Agree. Even without the prolapse. But you know what's dangerous? What if this is not it, and now we're get, causing this to get canceled? It has to be. <laughs> he said, he, he, it has to be. I don't he know. Said I it was think we're playing with fire. <laughs> Listen, whatever, how he's fine, whatever happens to him is not my responsibility. I, that's what I've always played. You know? But wait, look, Love just sent this. I don't know, you, you might be wrong about this, Ethan, because... What? This was, mm -hmm. somebody posted this on the subreddit, they were getting served mm -hmm. Howie Staples ads on the episode, which oh, means the I'm campaign is still of. live. Can I, can we, can we please dissect this image? 
like his hand, like what's going on here? His hands were clearly, were they shrunk and moved or something? He looks very weird. It's, it's the angle. There's like a some, fish eye I angle. Just, I think bad. he looks great. Yeah. I, I thought that was an edit at first. Yeah. A fan edit. It doesn't look real. No, it looks fucking oh, crazy. Oh, maybe. No, I think the ad's real, but this image they use oh. is crazy as shit. Oh. But this is clearly oh. like a, a Christmas themed thing with the snowfall. Oh, because so. he said it's a back to, he told us it's a back to school um, campaign. So, like, who else could that even be other than Staples? Uh, lots of, I mean, Target or, or any kind of department store kind of stuff. They All right, have well, I'm out here stuff. to ruin his career fully. So, <laughs> okay. So, that's, that's um, <laughs> I want to, I'm here to make him lose all sponsors. <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding. Let's find out. Here, 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 Stape. Are they gonna claim us for watching their commercial? Can you imagine how? Oh, somebody that named is? their cat Elik Line. That's so cute. Is this oh. Elik Line's the full name? <laughs> is that cute? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like it. Okay. And then uh, Sarah said that my makeup uh, looks I... amazing, and I have been following the routine that we all practice. Oh. Yeah, you look like oh. I wasn't sure today if it was good or not. Oh, you look slay. Okay. It's happening. You do. You're glowing. It's like it's happening. It's, it's happening. happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sh more makeup showing, and I was like, do I look like a clown, or is this? So how it's supposed a to look. A clown? Why would you mm -hmm. say such a thing about yourself? An Israeli clown, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Okay, so I think we'll... Are they gonna Zach, play? I was expecting you to play the sound <laughs> yeah. bite. That just makes it really <laughs> weird if you, if you don't drop <laughs> it after that. It's really clown <laughs> comedian. <laughs> okay, thank you. I was, I was searching for it. It's deep in there. It, okay. it, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's not easy. It just left hanging a you little too long. Then, it's play it dangerous. again, play it again, Zach. He's this crazy Israeli clown comedian. <laughs> but I, I think to make it believable, you have to include that he says H3, my name. H3. 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 More, more Kermit than ever. H3. He's this crazy Israeli really clown. clown comedian. <laughs> yeah, he, well, so much for that, huh? Am I that crazy? And I'm not Israel. I mean, I guess I am. I don't know. It's three, eight. You are H3. Israeli and you are crazy. Why has he got to reduce me to that? But not a clown. Not a clown. Um, and help them to see the it, evil doings of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Trump's anti-Israel? Yep. Holy shit. May Allah awaken the people. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Trump with ISIS or what? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that awesome. That's not gonna play well with this base. Oh, one more thing. Um, a lot of people keep saying I should bleach my eyebrows. Oh, I like that what idea. Are, okay. I kind of think it's cool. Cool. Wasn't sure. Bleach the eyebrows? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> cool. Get after it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's cool. Should I too? Yeah. Fuck it. And the beard? Wait, what? No. No. How long is your hair gonna last for? Yeah, what's that? Ethan? Yeah. yeah. I think I mean, this it, is the end of it. <laughs> it's already going back. It's already like going back to brown. I mean, this is all gray on the side, so that's like, but you can see it's it's somehow it's getting darker. my hair defeated the bleach. <laughs> no, it's just growing that fast. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it yeah. doesn't look bleach. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a fucking... It just I looks like, like a it. mess, bro. And no, no hate to Jackie, obviously. It's my hair that's the crazy thing here. I gotta say, it, a mixed reaction to the eyebrow dying. I'm, okay. right I'm strongly against it. <gasps> Why do you care what? what? I'm just so curious about the strongly. Why do you care about what? AV no, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna do what you, you say. I'm. Thank you guys. I would say <laughs> both would be super cool. I'm into it. Why do you, why are you hating so much? But I'm curious why strongly. Yeah, yeah what, what, what's, what's the opposition here, AB? I, I, I've never seen dyed eyebrows that look good. Well, gas, Olivia, true. gas. <laughs> yeah, that's. Have you ever crazy. seen the Met Gala? <laughs> right. Yeah, I've seen Kim Kardashian and blonde and brows. I didn't you like didn't it. like it? No, mm. I hate it's it. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> there we go. Look. She said it. <laughs> yeah. If you ever didn't like it, you could just use tint to like cover it. You want to do a poll right. and then be bound by the results? No, it's done. Oh, it's I done, actually done, like done. the yeah. idea. I like I it too. If you're into oh, it, I didn't know if you would like it. I immediately thought 
that's a good idea. I'm uh, seeing more do it than no, but I just was seeing I mean, a decent why, amount why of no. I mean, why not? Just have fun, dude. Yeah, Go, exactly. You know what I mean? You're it's in gonna a, grow. Yeah. And it might yes. look bad a little bit when, when the dark grows. It's fun, dude. And it's like half <laughs> dark, half blades. We're, we're at, we can do this shit. We got jobs where we can do it. Yeah, exactly. I'm a fucking sandwich. You gotta do it. <laughs> hey, I, I, I've been thinking about Olivia's Um, It's Happening. I'm gonna tell Jess. What, what did the, uh, res- what did the guy with the, uh, window, <laughs> uh, maybe it's not a good one. What? I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip I don't, it. I don't know where it's going. Whenever, yeah. I, but when you hesitate, yeah. I, I'm I'm in full agreement. It's, that's what I've learned is that essentially, when I say I shouldn't do it, do not don't do it. Listen to that voice. Let me see if I can rephrase it in a way that's a little more palatable. Can you write it to me? Yeah, that's a good protocol. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll I'll just paraphrase. I was saying like if. I just think it's funny, like somebody who's in the wake of unimaginable travesty and they see it coming and they go, it's happening. It's happening. Like 9-11, you're on the tower looking through the window. It's happening. You know, Japan, the tsunami hits. It's coming away. uh, It's happening. You're waiting for the exact moment for all those horrible things to happen for real. Crickets? (laughs) It's happening. That's on Zach. I don't know why he hit you with the crickets there. Dude, it was the wrong button. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you messed that up. Anyway, thanks. Yeah, I was looking for a, a rim shot at least. Anyway, here I, I don't know if we're gonna get claimed, but I really want to watch this. Howie, uh, you will. Uh, let me just watch. This, hold on, I have this vague memory of Staples claiming us in the past. You definitely, dude. Will. They're fucking like specific animals. And, why? I think you're right. Watch? I remember that too. I like. That stands out to me. For some dude, reason, Staples got us once. Dude, the idea of a brand claiming you for watching their commercial <laughs> yeah. is the most obscene shit, bro. <laughs> we are, we are Target. <laughs> we are, we are it's Target. We gotta all do this on Friday before we go live. Yeah, you're, that's actually, we should actually do up. that. That'd be a good social post. <laughs> um, you know what? I heard Twitter's bad, but it turns out Elon is actually making people say we are we are Twitter in the morning. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get any worse, could it? Oh, speaking of Howie Mandel, a lot of fans were checking out his podcast. Listen, you gotta do it. He had Jimmy Kimmel on, which I mean that's a huge that's a huge get, right? Twenty thousand views. Huge, gigantic. Ah. By the way. Jimmy Kimmel does like every day his show. He doesn't have time for anything. Oh, you know the late night shows. Yeah, they don't have time to breathe. He made time for and Howie. he made time for this. And not only that, he drove to fucking like Calabasas. Yeah, which is like an hour another, and a half drive another from state, LA. basically. And you, he did all that for twenty thousand views. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing for oh, Jimmy. Yeah. It was 13k before. So we helped episode. him out a little bit. Yeah. He's had Chris Jenner. How much does how much does Chris yeah, get? Yeah, like him? last week. What did they get? Like t- so seven thousand? That's crazy. Yeah, Howie pulls crazy guests, Bruh. man. I mean, he's Howie. He's Mandel. Howie freaking Mandel. He's America's uncle. <laughs> yeah, well, turns out, just like in real life, nobody wants to hear from their uncle. <laughs> Chris is forty-six k. <laughs> That's a little better. Three months ago, not even two weeks. even oh, Jason bad. Nash with the Trisha Paytas clickbait only got sixty-two. Hmm. How much does your episode have? Oh, that's a good question. I like to check that. It's still the top episode. I think you might be right <laughs> about his thumbnail and his profile. It's photo. so bad. I tried to First, tell him. Good, Nobody, yeah. you can't show the back of your head. Nobody yeah. knows what is that. <laughs> is and I, I keep telling him. I says, Howie, you're doing. You, people don't know your back of your fucking head. Why not just show your hand or something? You know, it's so random. Be better if he showed his ass now, man. It sure would be. Bill Maher is second place. I wouldn't expect that. Even Bill Maher is so busy. Like, Jeff Dunham? All these people. It's pretty crazy that he gets them. Yo, he got Paul Stanley. That's pretty big, right, Zach? Yeah, that I saw that. I'm like, what the fuck? And Bill Burr, Bobby Lee, Jay Leno. Rest, or, I mean, well. He's actually going to be okay. <laughs> he's not dead, but his face died. <laughs> rest in peace. You know Jay what? Leno. <laughs> Jay Leno didn't die, but he was like, <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> It's happening. <laughs> He's on fire and shit. It's happening. <laughs> I'm more on fire than my career guy. It's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that rude? Did you guys see, it's see very that similar. picture of him? 
Now show me. There's a picture. Olivia, do you, Olivia, do you still we have shared it? it in the chat the other day here. Yeah. <laughs> so I have oh, it. of I have him it. in his chamber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, is that real? It was, yes. <laughs> He's in a hyperbolic chamber. Wait, what? Why are you guys laughing about that? It's not uh, funny at all. With that I just thought it was the grimmest photo to this release. This is Jay Leno, bro. Right? Oh, it is. What's happening? Why is he inside of a hyperbolic chamber? <laughs> he got Healing. third degree burn. <laughs> yeah, but why is he First in his chamber? Degree. Wait, I actually don't know what even is this and what happened to him. He got in a car crash. Well, no, he was working on one of his old cars and it okay. exploded in his face. Oh shit! He, he was on fire. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. And and but <laughs> I, how do you end up in a hyperbaric hyperbaric chamber? What is burns? a hyperbaric chamber? It's like pressurized and sterile and shit. He was, well, that's uh, why because you don't want the burns to get infected. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, to help. I think that's swelling. Okay, okay. I think I've that's pretty standard seen, for like severe. Burn it is. Victim. I never wow. seen a burn victim in a hyperbaric. <gasps> you, did he get his face? Apparently, I think. Yeah, no, it was primarily his face that got burned. <gasps> he was at like one of the best the money maker. burn centers <gasps> in the world. Uh, Getting treatment. They, oh they my found, God. Yeah, there, there, there's a there's a young 18 year old who just passed away. We're gonna get his face. We're gonna put his face on. Wait, this is great. really serious. Yeah, but it's Jay Leno, so it's fine. <laughs> Have you? Do you like you, pink You berry? saved me from this because I wanted a a vintage car. This was gonna happen to me. Oh no! Right. No! 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 no. <laughs> and by the way, why are you saying no? Ela really wanted a vintage car. I knew that was a bad idea when you almost crashed into no, the fucking display. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember that. Let's not Let's... talk about that. But <laughs> you know, I was gonna get the car was gonna get stuck on the side of the freeway. And it's then happening. I, was, I would open the the thing to see what's going on, and they would blow up in my face. No collectible cars. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Unlike Teslas, that never explode. Well, <laughs> by the way, it's I believe it's hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbolic is what. Yeah, Goku, I, that's yeah. what Goku so, trains in the yeah, hyperbolic yeah. I time chamber. I started saying hyperbaric. <laughs> Jay Leno's gonna fight so. so. Dude, <laughs> he's gonna get his ass kicked. He looks good. Cell's gonna rock his shit. From what I can tell, he looks good. Finally, well, have some peace and quiet in here. Nice <laughs> From what I can tell, he looks good. Dude, <laughs> dude, 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 dude. <laughs> dude. Barely any flesh. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Wrapped this up like a fucking mummy. <laughs> <laughs> we see his feet on the side look better. of the ceiling. <laughs> Yo, stop. This picture needs to go on Wikipedia immediately. Oh. <laughs> it's that's in a hyperbaric chamber. It's probably already there. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my Those god. Those feet are nice. Pretty it's good. It's not on Wikipedia. Pretty, pretty fun. Okay, yeah. My feet are not my best trait. Oh, me should, we say, you, should I send that picture to Seaman right now? <laughs> 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 I, I'm curious what he thinks. I mean, his feet look good. Oh, I'm going to send it. I mean, he he's a busy guy, um, so he might not get back to us immediately, but send I'm going to send it right now. He'll, he'll get back to us. When it's a matter of feet, he, he finds time. Mm. But anyway, we were talking about <laughs> wonderful Howie Mandel, <laughs> who um, he had he had Jimmy Kimmel on. Yeah. And by the way, while I'm while I'm critiquing your show, uh, and I'm sorry, but this this is the worst lighting I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> right, Dan? I mean, what's what's going on here? Uh, just to show uh, the poor Jimmy. They it's like so hot and direct. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> this is Howie Mandel. He's got a whole big. You know what I mean? Like, what kind of crazy ass lighting is this? Can we talk about how good Howie looks for his age? Oh my God. Oh, he's killing Lighting's it. Phenomenal. Yeah. What? Their shot looks great. Look how great their shot looks. And then you go to Jimmy Kimmel. Um, ghoul. What is it? Halloween? <laughs> his bag is under his eyes. Well, we, we kind of knew this because a similar thing happened to you, right? With yeah. uh, I guess it was more about the angle with you. Um, <laughs> but. He, he has hey, a they fixed the angle. Listen, he has a history of unflattering his uh, Whoa. his guests. <laughs> that is actually very bad, too. So, but. Wait, hold I on. remember when YouTubers used to make their videos look like that, because it was flattering. It removes their pores. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the uh, Jimmy Lee filter. Overlay. Wait, what happened, Dan? What do you mean, what happened? You said, hold on. Yeah. Oh, when he had it all bright, I was going to come make it even brighter, but oh. the, the moment's <laughs> passed. So. Okay, so anyway, speak, so he had Jimmy Kimmel on, and uh, people have been going and watching after his appearance here, and, um, well, watch this transition that somebody noticed. It's really phenomenal. Check this out. You got to yeah. do a show tonight, and there's a big shooting in your hometown, and people were killed, and uh, 
you know, and look at you. <laughs> We're in a commercial now, and look at Jack. <laughs> So did y'all just drop that in Holy there? Shit. Did nobody watch that back? <laughs> so sorry to interrupt. He's got a whole cast of crew for Your this. Hometown and people were killed and uh, uh, you know and look at you. You're in a commercial now and the way that it just so boom. abruptly boom anyway. Boom, boom. <laughs> Fuck what he was talking about. That's good, man. I love it. And that. they're laughing, too. <laughs> yeah, they could have been <laughs> Look at Jackie. I'm looking good, right? But if you're just listening, I'm telling you she's looking good. You know why? Because you're wearing one of our sponsor's products. <laughs> you are wearing Shady Rays. Which Shady is Rays! Rays. So there you go. Brought to you by uh, New Las Vegas uh, Mass Shooting. That's what he said. That's what they said. It said brought to you by oh. the mass shooting in Vegas. That's oh what Jimmy Kimmel was talking about. <laughs> it's happening, is what they... Yep. <laughs> now and look. God. <laughs> Every time there's a tragedy. Now on. It's happening. Big shooting in your hometown and people were killed and, uh, uh, you know. I didn't even realize that's what he was talking you. about. Yeah, I mean, it has to be. Yeah, that's He's from point. Vegas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Somebody survived the shooting. <laughs> Certainly. Why did they put it there? It's so, it feels like it's Listen, intentional. Listen, these are it's all not... mistakes that we've done too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. <laughs> Listen. Listen. <laughs> we did uh, our, you know, we did. Uh, so sorry, we got to go to break. Yeah. I believe. Is it, um, you had the, the, the original video pulled up, right? What timestamp does the ad happen at? Does it happen Just like exactly at 30, 30 minutes or like exactly at no. 15 minutes or something? Listen, you got to do a show tonight and there's a big shooting in your hometown and people were killed and, uh, uh, you know, and... Yeah, it could not be a more random timestamp. Never mind. Well, I think they were just like, okay, I don't even think they were listening. They're just like, mm. okay, there's a spot. Boom. Boom. Drop it they, in. They do that a couple times throughout the episode, but this was definitely oh, the most random. So yeah. Maybe they have like a 20 and a 40 minute... I mean, we do our mid rolls kind of like that, right? Then we just do ten minutes, twenty minutes. True. We, the, the, the YouTube mid rolls probably do get inserted into some unfortunate <laughs> moments. Howie, oh, yeah, I hope you're watching this. He says he watches, and I believe him. Actually, he seemed to know. He catches the lore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at all the nice comments from <laughs> H3 fam. All from the H3 family. We all love you, Howie. There was never any hate. What you did on TikTok Damn. may have lost you two sponsors. <laughs> But that TikTok showed us a more human side of you than AGT uh, ever could. This has gained you a more loyal following mm. that will make those sponsors come crawling back. Mm. Wow, Jared Dorsey. What an insightful comment. I know. Hell yeah, Jared. Wow, that's Smart. awesome. Good, good people. I love how you guys are so supportive of our guests. It's very nice to see. This is the last fo- Oh my god. This is the last- Are you serious? Or is that a joke? Uh, no, that's what Avery told me. Our, our this is the last photo of of, of Jay Leno <laughs> with, with these guys like fucking dead. goons, bro. <laughs> you know these guys? They're like no. the two dipshits from TikTok. Oh god, Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. <laughs> Moro's twins. We're I, I think him. it's so no. funny that we're talking about him like he's dead. <laughs> he's the last <laughs> I mean, it's Jay Leno. He kind of... <laughs> I, 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 nice hair, though. I don't like... I have, like, a slight dislike for Jay Leno. It's not passionate, but, like, as a Howard Stern fan, he fucking hates Jay Leno. Like, <laughs> hates him because he fucked over Conan O'Brien on the late mm. night. Right. He's, You've been conditioned. He's kind of a legendary asshole. He's, yeah. he's not really a good guy. I mean, not that I want... His face to get burned no, off. No, but, no, but God forbid. He's coming for your hairline, though. Dude, he has a phenomenal hair. That's true. That's yeah. true. A bit intimidating. Can't take that from him. How old is he? That's a beautiful hairline. He's that's he's up there for sure. Golly, that's a nice. Probably hair. seventy. Oh. He's seventy-two. Yeah, I'm up there, and I went up in flames too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I fucking hate if my last photo alive was with these fucking <laughs> idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no man. shot. Jay Leno in Cars, bro. He has a tough time. That video of him almost dying <sighs> oh, I that is on the racetrack. So bad. Why can't we show it? Because it's from a TV show. It'll for uh, sure get claimed. Just that oh, one, like, really? two-second clip. It's so good, Ethan. It, it is so good. We've watched I, it before. I, not on the show. I don't remember it. I don't know if Should, I watched it. How long is it? See if you can get slice it down. We'll make it a small box. <laughs> it's you will. They're gonna get you. Or a gift? Can you find a gif of it? 
might be possible. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's the a, sound is so it's so, so a part crazy. of it though. It really <laughs> is. The sound is a part of it. So just <laughs> <laughs> here's a still. Here's a still. Thank you, Cameron. Oh well, that's okay. Whoa, really? Well, that, that happened to him? <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a reaction still right right now. Too. You got to see inside oh my God. the car. Man. His car window was open when this happened. So this is, this is a drag car that goes like <laughs> 2,000 horsepower or something like that, and it, it, the video is fucking amazing. <laughs> 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 it's happening. <laughs> that, the car, the car is upside down at this point. And the window is open. That's his, yeah, he almost scary. lost his hand. He, so the thing is, he That's walked so away scary. with it. He walked yeah. away from this incident completely uninjured, which wow. is incredible when you see the video. Uh, basically, with a gas, the gasoline. He's nice. in a car that flips over about like twelve times, like so violently, and uh, somehow walked away completely. And why blind. is that funny to you, Dan? <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> they have a POV camera directly <laughs> on his face as he's getting rattled around. And, and the, the stunt driver driving the car is like 87 years old or something. Wow. He's, yes. time. he's yeah. like a drag drag race legend. Yeah. Oh and he died, so right? so awkward. No, no, oh. no. Nobody died. Everyone no, died. in fact, he's fine, too. It's like kind of incredible. Uh, but Just my God, flipping. the video is fun. By the way, Alicia, uh, for the record, thank you for the dono, says bleached eyebrows would be stunning on you, though. Mm. I thought it was free speech. Done. The wildest thing about that video, too, is that they don't even clickbait the uh, flip. It's just a, a regular old video. It says Jay Leno goes 25,000 oh. uh, horsepower. Yeah, it's it not. Just they didn't even foreshadow they didn't, they it. Did it just not, happens. It just happens out of the blue. There's no, like, warning. Whoa. And it just all of a sudden, the car is just flipping over it's and over and over again. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, so anyway, what the lore with Jay Leno is like, he retired. Mm -hmm. And Conan O'Brien was announced. He had been hired. He left his previous job. He was going to take the slot. And then Jay Leno was like, "You know what? I, I, I actually want to stay on. You know, I'm. Uh, I think. I, I think I'm going to stay." Mm -hmm. And so they, they, they had to kick Conan out. And Jay Leno went back. I don't know. Howard's friends with Conan, and he hates Jay Leno's guts. So it's rubbed off on me a little bit. I, I'm the same way <clears throat> with you, uh, based on Howard's opinion and judgment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking asshole. But, but I mean, to be fair, the burning probably couldn't have made his face that much worse, right? No good? No, Rough? No I rim shot a little bit funny. I mean... Damn. All right. Fuck. Sorry about that one. The main broski. Thank you for the gifted. Appreciate you. I, I'll never forget, man, though. Bill Burr went on Jay Leno. And, yeah. and he goes, man... You got to be one of the weirdest looking motherfuckers <laughs> that ever lived. I had never seen anyone with a face like yours. Just straight to his face. It was just amazing. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, man. Fuck. This is the last image you see before you die. Makes Shit, sense. Shit, bro. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, dude. Hell no. Nah. I'd rather not be born. They're dating twins? And everybody's dressed the same. <laughs> Look at homie on the left, man. He's he's more handsome. I gotta say, this twin got the handsome gene, and this one got the goofy ass fuck gene. It's just the haircut is awful. <laughs> it's just awful. Okay, enough of that. We actually have a show to do, believe it yeah. or not. <laughs> Having too much fun though, eh? Yes, yeah, too much fun, too much fun. So how we we love you in summary. Yeah. What do you think about? I hate this shit, bro. One third this. Sam. I hate it. Oh, I shouted them out. That's why. Mm -hmm. One third Sam makes these edits. One third Sam. Those videos are fucked up. I see them on TikTok. Just ain't right, man. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> this is awesome. No. I hate it. <laughs> I, would, I watched this no. at night, and I was like, I don't like. It. <laughs> it's a no. fucked up version of the he's, theme song. he's always uh, gifting stubs. And Yo. Oh yeah, he is a he's a fan. Yeah. That's right. Ugh. Yeah, who's Made me uncomfy though to say, to say the least. One third Sam, we love it. Um, server shares her worst moments as a server. This past summer, a guy died in my restaurant.
Oh, so are we trying to punt off worst? How many of us have worked in um like restaurant service? I mean, I have, you have. Most of us, yeah. Me and AB, and it's, I know Sam has. Me uh, too. And Lena. Same. Uh, where me and Lena met. Zach and Ian have not been in service. Yeah. And Olivia. Uh, I have. And Olivia. Or, so oh, Ian I have has. Olivia yeah. and Zach. What I a surprise. Either. Yeah, the most pri- <laughs> that I think that means you guys are privileged. Mm-hmm. Well, I worked wait. as a guitar teacher. That, that was, Bro, that's oh, the yeah, most that's privileged nice. job ever! <laughs> wow. That must have been really tough, dude. That's the most... How, oh, my God. <laughs> I was a babysitter, but I, I'm grateful for... for yeah, I was, say you didn't uh, have to. But you are. Yeah. I, I was an H three social media manager. Right, you got, love, you've actually yeah. had the best life ever. Love. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty lucky. So far, your professional life has been pretty cushy. Yeah, it has. Yes, yeah, so, I mean service work. I did is it for tough, man. And five years, my dude. Five years. I, I really maybe. am so thankful for it because I'll appreciate every job in my life. Oh, yeah. That you learn how to treat people and mm-hmm. you learn to be appreciative for a certain And you person. learn how not to treat people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I we were. If I want my kids to work in the service industry. If oh, I, you're going to throw them in the gauntlet? Yeah. I loved it. I loved the free food, especially. That was the oh, you I loved it? Bro. I mean, that was nice. minute of it. If you have yeah, a good, I kind of hated it too. But I see it good down coworkers, with, it helps for sure. Dude, I, yeah. Yeah, down with good coworkers. Yeah, co- I mean, it can be fun, right? It can be nice. Yeah, the, the camaraderie and stuff was fun, but um, I yeah, I, it, it sucks. You hated every minute. Every minute. I think they're a little more hardcore in Israel, and also you guys get paid yeah. like fucking nothing. Mm-hmm. In Israel, they don't even pay you trash. hourly. Yeah. Do they? Wait, they just give you tips. I, you just oh, I was about to, because I couldn't remember what the tip culture is in It's Israel. not very good. It's the same. Uh, it's the I same. But also people are rude. Yeah, like Israeli, way, yeah. way rude. Yeah. yeah. Israelis are rude. The managers are rude. The Everybody's are rude. rude. It's just a whole negativity <laughs> experience. <clears throat> so basically in Israel, you can, you're guaranteed to make minimum wage by law. Anything yeah. over that, and oh. they take it all out of the tip. Also, right? if there's any mistake, mm. somebody like, Accidentally didn't charge enough somebody. We're gonna take it out of the tips. That's you know? legal there. Well, I don't know. That's what they do. Though. They're like, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy there, dude. It is crazy. Um, but I would say at least like the service industry here. If you're a young person, that's and like that's your best option. The money is like can be pretty deep. That's why I did it for, for five person. years. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I right. will say that yeah. even though I hated it, like any. Out of all of the sort of just entry level, you know, compared to like just getting a job in retail or something mm-hmm. or, or a Which fast food job or whatever, yeah. waiting is the best money you're probably going to make for like mm-hmm. a no, you know, other experience entry level kind of job. Also, I feel like in Israel, you kind of have to like also clean the toilet. You, oh my God. You need oh. to like clean the floor. You kind of like just the shit person to do everything in sure. the restaurant. Fuck that, bro. They make the bussers mostly so, do that here. There's no bussers in Israel. Oh. We don't have that. Well, separate. and any restaurant where there's no bussers, I suppose that would be the server as well. So we had to do that, but we had Middle Eastern owners. So it's kind of the same. Mm. We went through a lot uh. of shit. They would take our tips. Yeah. Oh really? Mm. Well, they wouldn't take all of our <laughs> tips, but like you said, if we messed up or went over, yeah. whatever it is, it would equal out. You don't complain about it. It's not easy to get a job there. What is it? You don't complain about it. Um, complain to who? No, not it's really. illegal. It's fucking illegal. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Go get another job. I'm kind of worried. A lot of illegal stuff mentality. goes on in restaurants. Yeah. So uh, one night the drawer was short. And uh, the owner's like, all right, all the servers are splitting the cash of what was short. I was like, okay, that's fine. And then we find out that one of the managers took money from the drawer to, to buy something, supplies or something. And the owner's like, oh, well, it was short the other day, so we're just going to keep it. Oh, my God. And I was like, it wasn't even the same waiters that were here the other night. It makes no sense, but yeah. I had, I, I mean, the closest thing I had is managers, like general managers, who would help during the busy times. Mm-hmm. And keep the t- keep their own tips, which is like really? so fucking corny, bro. Yeah, I think I got away with a lot less of that because I worked at California Pizza Kitchen, was a very corporate restaurant. Yeah, right. It's not like a private mm-hmm. owner or whatever, so the management was a little bit more. Not to say that they didn't do you know questionable things. Um, I mean, one thing was like about once a year they would do like a a sweep for all of the back of the house people. Um, to make sure all of their uh, papers were um, mm-hmm. legal, 
<laughs> so to speak. Oh, really? So yeah. That and, never happened in my work. And what what would always end up happening is they would do one of those, and then those people would be fired because most of them are uh, not legal, undocumented. Yeah. Uh, undocumented's a better. Uh, that's the more up to date term. I got you. But then they'd be there the next day, um, and suddenly their name was something else. They come back. <laughs> oh yeah. And get hired. What? Yep. Three they just they just rehire <laughs> them as a new as a new like Roberto That's is awesome. is, is wow. uh, Juan today and <clears throat> call him Juan from now on. That's crazy. Yep. I, we worked with a ton of undocumented workers and those motherfuckers were the hardest working wild as something. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They yeah. would work so hard and they partied so fucking hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mad mad respect for the back of the house and that's uh, that's part of why I never I tried to keep complaining to minimum because. Mm. Like as horrible as my job was, <laughs> it was still not as I'm bad. Sure as... The same is in Israel because it's always like in the kitchen that people washing the dishes are the what you're describing. Where in Israel it's generally like Ethiopians. Oh or, yeah, right, 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 right. I had this coworker. He was a really hard worker, and uh, we hung out all the time. We were all friends at the restaurant. He come by my house all the time. <laughs> One day, turn on the news, and he went to jail for murdering his child. Oh, wow. what the fucking yeah. fuck? Fucking wild. And oh all these, when he would work, like he would just brag about like how much he loves his daughter, and that's why he's able to work seven days a week. And oh god, Whoa. that's yeah. so sad. Show me, it's happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Wait, he killed his daughter. It's happening. <laughs> yeah. How, well, like, 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 how old was his daughter? Very young. Lena, do you know how young? I think I, like a year old or something. <gasps> he was really young, Ugh, yeah. That's and, and, terrible. And it wasn't an accidental. It was like just straight murder. So that's what we all thought at first. But then when he finally spoke on TV, he was like, uh, "I made a mistake." He's like, "Yeah, I just made, I made a mistake." It was. It was he nice. was so nice, though. I he feel was, like yeah, maybe he was, he was covering up, maybe for the mom or something. I don't know. That's I what think. a lot of us thought. Oh, yeah, looking back and oh back, I don't know if it's just because we all knew and we were trying to like justify it in our heads. But I'm mm-hmm. I'm not sure. It's. It is wild. Waiter, waiting will do that to a motherfucker. I think seven days a week is too much, bro. Yeah. Well, a lot of them work doubles. Like half the Mm -hmm. kitchen staff at my restaurant, they all worked at another restaurant and they do a morning shift and then they come and do a a night shift. That's crazy. Was this like your guys' restaurant? The back of the staff, especially, I think some of the waiters too, they're straight up smoking like meth and heroin, bro. There was no, not as much I've that. Not, that. <laughs> not in Israel, but like, there's the undocumented <laughs> workers and some of the waiters would get on it. They're always smoking weed, but I, I found out they were smoking meth and heroin, dog. They were partying like crazy. America. It was mostly, uh, <laughs> black tar. Most, <laughs> it was mostly uh, coke. <laughs> that was Everyone happening. Who could afford bar. coke? It'll fuck it. What? It was, it, that was happening in my bar. Really? Yeah. Damn. Meth and coke? Uh, because coke is too expensive. I don't think it was meth, but definitely coke. Definitely mm. coke. I think it's a Santa Cruz thing, because at, at one point... Like, yeah, I'll, Santa Cruz. Like a large percentage of the people I knew were smoking black tar heroin, bro. That's fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. I was like, Santa Cruz, oh, how are yeah. you even work on that? No, there was... I, I, I was like, you're all smoking heroin? Like a bunch of people... That's not like night. a work drug. There was a... Yeah, no, I was just going to say, there was a, not at a all. guy who was, on, who was on heroin, and like... I, <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm about to faint. It's happening. <laughs> oh, I'm about no. to faint. Oh no. Oh god, oh, no. I just laughed too hard. <laughs> Jay Leno's hyperbaric chamber bed. <laughs> 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 that is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I almost fainted. I'm not even kidding. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I knocked yourself out. Holy fuck, board. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh my god! I need to breathe. Wait, I, didn't they close WikiFit or something? Just the b- scoreboard. The rating. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh god! Wait, let me see if Seaman replied. Oh my god! Uh, nothing so far. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So uh, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, the hookah oh boy would always. He was on heroin, and he would fall asleep, and the tables would be like, "Where's our hookah?" <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. It was what? horrible, and he had. You know, he was dealing with fire too, so it was a dangerous combination. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I think I told the story, but we had a waiter at ours because everyone used to get like. I don't know what the manager would leave early and then it was all on us who had no <laughs> vested interest in the business at all to close. So we would be eating like filet mignons wow. and drinking all the alcohol we wanted. It was really? Nuts. Wait, so somebody nuts. in the kitchen was on your side? 
Yeah, we we're no, we were all together. We were all on the same like, team there. I feel like it's always like the kitchen against everybody. No, because we they would cook us food and we would hook them up with drinks and shit. Mm. And so it was a it was a collaboration there. But at a certain point, the owners were like, "Yo, um, we're missing like ten thousand dollars <laughs> worth of food and <laughs> unaccounted for." But actually, what I was going to, which wasn't very funny, is that one of the waiters got like a blackout drunk. And driving back home on the one, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. if you don't know what the one is, it's like very dark, very winding road, very dangerous. And yeah. he flipped his car and actually died on the way home. Yeah, it was crazy. I think I talked about this, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you said that they his were drinking as memorial. Yeah, his yeah. family turned his memorial on the side of the road where his fucking blood was on the road. Still, they they took a ke they had a kegger. Yeah, swear to fucking Damn. god. It's it was happening. so weird. I know. Yeah, it is happening. <laughs> it happened. And I, I, I guess the logic was like, our boy liked to drink, so let's... But I know at the same time, it's like... Mm. Yeah, I think we all said, like, different I, people mourn differently. Sure, yeah. I mean, you lost your child, so... But, yeah. you know... Hey. If someone said, you let him drive. I wasn't there when it happened, so don't blame me. I heard about it when when we were living yeah, in Santa wasn't Cruz. There. I think a lot of people that were there felt really bad about it, though. Because everyone was trying to figure out, like, how was he able to drive home? Mm -hmm. I think they said that he, like, held his alcohol really good. I don't know. Just like everyone in Santa Cruz. Everybody's always, like, drinking and doing drugs. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> like everyone who's ever gotten to an accident drunk. They all say, I'm a good drunk driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drive angry. He tried to hit and run. He hit a car and then he was trying to bail. Good advice, PMP. I'm not going to go there either. Back it up. Let's, back. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, so we're, I was going to watch this girl. She was telling um, a story of from the service industry that maybe we could relate to. Mm. Restaurant's bathroom, like choked and died, and his wife yeah, was like choked and died, ah. and his wife was like on her knees screaming and crying. Yeah, yeah. This past summer, a guy died in my restaurant's bathroom, like choked and died, and his wife was like on her knees screaming and crying and asking God why. And we didn't shut down the restaurant. We kept serving people, and when they were taking his body out in the body bag, I was taking Table 31's food to them. <laughs> Another time, um, one of my coworkers had a seizure. And she hit her head on one of those metal shelves, and so there was blood everywhere, and I was holding her head until the ambulance got there. And after the ambulance got there, I got in trouble for not taking care of my tables. Wow. Time, we had a work Christmas party. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where does she work? Final Destination Cafe? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? So much yeah. violence, bro. So everyone was high as hell on edibles, and then the GM got extremely drunk and got up and gave a speech about how much she absolutely just fucking hated everybody. One of the main people she talked about was me. And I had an old couple call corporate complaining about me because I said, how are you guys? And she was like, I'm not a man. And literally cussed me out and she was like, I'm done talking to you. I'm not eating here anymore. And literally almost got me fired over saying, how are you guys? When four cooks got in a fist fight, we had to shut down the whole restaurant. Bro, where when do you work? Discovered... Yeah, is this real? Four cooks got in a fist fight, like an all-out brawl in the kitchen. Oh, Starting to think this is. I find real. all of this believable. Yeah, by same. the way, yeah, like one one of my best friends almost got stabbed with a butcher knife at the restaurant. Yeah, mm. by another chef. It was a bus boy who was friends with the chef. A bus Whoa. boy almost took a motherfucker out. Yeah. Shit. mold in all of our fridges and in literally all of our food and our GM told us that we didn't have the money to replace it and to literally just ignore it and to never talk about it again. This old couple came in and before I could introduce myself um, he laid out three one dollar bills on the table and told me that those were my strikes and to not mess up. Oh my god. And he just kept taking them away like literally for the most random things. <laughs> That's um, so god. fucking weird. When the cooks drank way too much fireball and blacked out and we had to cook our own food. That's pretty funny. I love serving. <laughs> This past summer, <laughs> a guy died. That's, That's pretty wild. Hey, could you, po I don't know, could you possibly keep a restaurant open if somebody died and they're being taken out? You I serving? believe it. I do believe it. Really? It's possible. Would you still eat your food? Depends how good it is. <laughs> mm. um, I worked for a wedding venue as my first job, and there was a dead body found in the river that the... Like the wedding was taking place right in front of a river and we found a body in the river and the wedding kept going. 
Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah. Wait, so, 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 so there's a wedding right below. There's police and ambulance and stuff yeah. taking, they're fishing the body out. Mm -hmm. And are y'all trying to just pretend like it's not happening? Yeah. Well, we moved, the wedding was just ending. So we were just like, that's a body. And we moved everyone inside, and then we called the police to come out. And oh, good, yeah, Prior priorities. Uh, <laughs> take care of the guests always. By the way, I just want to share out some donos. Uh, Heather Marie, thank you. She says Olivia A B Ela. Why just you three? Please watch Julia Fox recent clock app vid about bleached brows. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I gotta someone say, pull that up. Um. I don't go on TikTok a lot, but when I do, I've been getting her TikToks. Julia? And she's kind of a legend. I love her. Oh, you like the vibe? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't know that. Funny. Interesting. Uh, Chantel yeah. says, today's my 28th birthday. Happy birthday, a legend. <laughs> Abigail says she worked at a casino for eight years. I'm sure you get all mm. kinds of crazy stories out of a casino. I can only imagine, man. Yeah. Yeah, that that's got to be one of the craziest ones. You get everything there. You get this. You get the alcohol. You get the drugs. You get the yeah. food. I love how this chat arrow navigating thing doesn't work. It's like great. It's just so cool, YouTube. So cool how these the super, super chat. I can't go to the left. It's so cool. I literally can't go to the left. Do you see that? I mean, what am I supposed to do? That's like stuff. Okay, there we go. Fucking shit, Alex. I want to hear the version of this recapping A.B. Sizzler incident. Sizzler? Like fr from the perspective of a waiter is what I'm assuming. What's A.B. Sizzler incident? When he choked. When he almost oh, died. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. <laughs> when it was happening. It's it was happening. Hap <laughs> it's happening to A.B. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Been the back to Sizzler, by the way? No. No. <laughs> You're muted. You're muted, muted, bro. Test. I shouldn't be. Uh, yeah. No, I have not been back, but I drive by it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out John Manscuso, 21, 21 years. Yes. 21 years Perfect. alive. Careful with the drinking and definitely don't drive. 21 years what? 21 year birthday. Oh. 21. Not Fuck birthday. you. <laughs> um, shout out to Shy McCorran. I have COVID and these podcasts are keeping me entertained. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace <laughs> and love. Does um, somebody know, is this COVID related? Yes, yes, it, it is. is. COVID is COVID related. Um, any other good restaurant stories anyone has that they want to share before we move on? Hmm. I worked at Home Depot, um, Mysterio woman says. I worked at Home Depot and someone fell and died in front and everyone continued as normal. Jesus. Somebody fell and died like off like one of the top shelves cuz people get pretty high oh. on people. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've told uh, I told this story. I think actually I told it relatively recently cuz I think it was when AB choked, but I had a customer once uh, choke on some uh, tortilla chips like badly and I had to give him the Heimlich maneuver. Did it work? And it worked. Did he tip you? He tipped me like Five percent. No yes. way! It's, it's always stuck with me. I straight up wow. saved this dude's life, and he, he probably wanted gave to me die. A dog shit on his tip. tip. Yeah, <laughs> you could, you, that wasn't your choice to save me, bro. Unbelievable. Wow. Five percent means everything. <laughs> it was yeah. It was it was like a it was like a uh, forty dollar bill or something, and he left me like two bucks, three bucks. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, it really blew my mind. <laughs> But you can say he tipped you 5%. So it's a full circle. Man. 5% means everything. He takes that 9%. Um, Victoria says, tell Ethan he's my cousin. Nah, that's bullshit. And that I also found out through 23andMe that Ben Shapiro is my cousin. No, no, no. Uh, We're not related. There's no shot. You and Benny? There's no shot I'm related to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> we come from different We're different worlds, bro. I I, I'm someday. Oh, wait. I think you told me that this wasn't true because isn't your your dad was a uh, is not actually a Klein? Yeah, he's he's, not. Adopted, he's adopted or something. That's disappointing because my I I have Kleins in my mm. family tree. My dad's mom is Klein, and that whole side of the family is Klein. So yeah. I always kind of wondered if we were related. My distantly. dad's maiden name is Katz. Okay, so Katzman. No, no Katzmans in the family. So. What's weird is um, I'm more Klein than you, dude. 
Yeah, you're. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have no Klein in me. Like, like, I have no Klein lineage. I'm the same. I'm the same way. I have my last name's adopted as well. It's interesting. Yeah. What's interesting is my dad's biological dad was like a big time movie producer. Right. I never met him. My dad never fucking knew him. Wait, Katzman. Yeah, Leonard yeah. Katzman. Wait, that it that's like really big time. Yeah, he's worked know on that Dallas name. or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. But I've seen people try to say that I'm like a um uh what's it called? A ba- when I don't know, one of these baby like I got uh hooked up cuz my grandpa is Leonard Katzman. Somebody oh, nepotism baby. A nepo baby, yeah, nepo baby. I've seen it been said before. Really? They don't really know enough about me, and they see, like, if you go on Wikipedia now, it goes, it says, like, Leonard Katzman's my grandpa, which is weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I never fucking met the guy. My dad, my dad never met him once since fucking he was, like, two years old. Yeah. And it's funny that people go, oh, yeah, you're a nepo baby. I don't, I don't fucking, I never, Wait, I don't even know what I'm, he looks like. I'm on his Wikipedia and it talks about you on his See, Wikipedia that's, page. What? That's yes. fucking weird. I don't like that. I don't, that is, it says, oh, rel- Gary yeah, Klein. Ethan Klein, grandson, is like, I don't even know what oh, he looks like, bro. God, that's <laughs> Gary crazy. Klein, what? My dad has a page? Oh, uh, it just links to H3. Yeah, yeah so, so, like, Whoa. that's super weird, you know? Yeah. And they lived in the same city. It's really fucking sad. I think I talked it's about sad, it. It's sad, yeah. He, he lived in Malibu. He basically like started a new family. He never he said, and bye. showed no interest in my dad. It was really sad. The guy's yeah. a fucking demon for that. That's what happened with my dad as well. Really? Yeah. I guess back then you could just like bail. No, bail. My, my biological grandfather's a huge piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, this is what he looks like? I've never seen him before. This is the first time I've ever seen what he looks like. Hi, That's Grandpa. so crazy. That's my act. That's my biological grandpa. Interesting. Huh. Crazy. I've never seen his face. Whoa. Nice hair. Yeah, pretty good hairline. Fucking grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Ah, this is trippy. <laughs> Beloved husband, father, grandfather. Not to me, fucker. Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> it should say absent father, <laughs> grandfather. That's so weird. He gave so much and demanded so little. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing shittier than what you did to my dad, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> there really is not. As a father of young kids, uh, imagine me walking out of Theodore's life and never, and then showing no interest. And, and living in the same city. Living in the same city. And then as an adult, <laughs> your dad tried to make contact yeah, again. Yeah. And he just kind of like dismissed him. Wow. So, what so my the dad, hell? My dad's mom, great lady. Yeah. Uh, Grandma Eileen. Yeah. Rest in peace. When my dad had his first child, my sister, she called him and said, hey, just so you know. Mm-hmm. Your son, Gary, just had his first child, if you want to call. And he he ghosted them. Crazy. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah. What a monster, bro. A hole in your heart. Damn. There he is. See, mine tried to <clears throat> come back into my life. Oh, really? Yeah. When? Yeah, when? Actually, pretty recently. I, I was probably like 16, 17. And so what, you told him fuck off? Pretty much, yeah. And he'll still try and like... Why? If he's making an effort... I mean, it's not my business. I'm not here to judge. Because he really abandoned my, my father and my grandmother. He just, mm. just kind of took off and left. And um, He really isn't a good guy. Mm. Did he try to make amends with your dad? Mm, he wanted it more because he is like an image thing, I guess. Even though he, he went off and got another family and has been buried multiple times and... It's it's very complex, but he is a huge piece of shit. And I thought about giving him another chance, but it's just not there. Well, he's got to make amends with your dad first. Yeah, Come right. On. Can't skip over the <laughs> right. Skip over right. that. He thinks by sending a hundred dollar check here and there that it's <clears throat> like making up for it. But um, what if he sent you a rolly? He's gonna need more. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. gonna send bigger checks I mean, than he, that. He <laughs> has one. If he did leave it to me, you know. We okay, cherish his memory. Talk. Maybe, <laughs> we'll talk. maybe we'll talk. Maybe we'll talk. talk By the way, my grandfather <laughs> looks like a Jewy ass motherfucker too, boy. He was Jewish. So it's all the way through. That's where I get the 99% from. It's all the way, baby. Mm-hmm. Leonard Katzman. 
my grandpa walked out on my mom when she was two years old and then like tried to make amends when he was dying from cancer. So she was uh, totally proud And then he just apologized to her for like the last year of his life. He uh, just fucked her up even more, so. Dude. Bro, there's so no, there's, up. I don't think there's any greater sin than, than uh, leaving your children. I think that's one of the worst things a person can do in life, period. As bad as murder, honestly. I mean, really, it's I mean, so bad. Quite a few terrible scenes you could do, but, but yeah, that, that one is specifically one. is so bad. You leaving your child, and that's that's just an abominable sin. That's yeah. just fucked up, bro. So sad. It's not even illegal. Well, Gary's permitted to pop beach balls now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Kaz, <laughs> Kaz gives my dad permission. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Smash that like button. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Victoria said, I sent you a request on 23andMe. I can send a screenshot of your 23andMe profile. Yes, send it to Dan. I don't fucking believe we're cousins. Dan, I think you have our <laughs> login to 23andMe because you yeah. heard the, yeah. It, it was, that was, oh my god, that was like five years ago now. I, uh, but I, the I, reason I know that is because I recently wanted to look at it again. And right. I found it in an email that you sent me with the login. Yeah, sure enough, I have it right yeah. here. I'm logging in. <laughs> Fu Lok says, I had an absent Jewish grandfather, too. He was apparently a drug runner in Mexico. Whoa. Um, it's kind of sick. I guess back in the day, it seems to have, have happened a lot, where the dudes is just like, I'm ready to go start a new family. Mm -hmm. It happened on both my parents' sides. Dude. Yeah, mine took off to New York, and he wanted to make something of life, and he never did. Amanda says, this is happening to my son. His dad lives in the same town oh. and never reached out. How can you do He that? moved into town, didn't tell me or my son. That's, I'm so sorry. That poor child. How can you do that? The kids deserve just so much better than that. Like, that just doesn't exist. The kids deserve so much better, man. Uh, so sad. Really is. I think people in general are, being, are better parents, you know what I mean? Like, when I was a kid, when my dad was a kid, you just beat the shit out of kids. You left them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like yeah. nobody they're like, yeah, fucking grow up. Grow up. I fought in a war, damn it. I fought I was in the trenches. Now fucking grow up. I was a cashier at Marshall's. Somebody died in line waiting to check out and people just walked around her to check out. Are you serious? <laughs> Could that be true? <laughs> I mean, maybe. We really are just like an ant hive when you it's like it's shocking, right? But at the end of the day, if somebody drops dead, we all just go business as usual. Like, we're like, well, you know, the workers will come get her, and that's what yeah. fucking it is. I've, I've accepted the fact that people just don't care. They we're just, just ants, care. bro. Yeah. Honestly, Marshall's is a really long line, too. I mean, yeah, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta get in and out. Yeah. It's Marshall's. I need to get this Calvin Klein not cologne. I'm not trying to spend all day in Marshall's. Wait, Shahobi? Shahab? I made the Kobe person intro in the Child Predator video. And I still really? can't believe you reacted to it. What do you Wait. mean you made it? There was, um, I vaguely remember it. Something that we used or something we have reacted to? Reacted to is Wait, what they're uh, saying. The it's, it's the kidnapping it like the, social the eyebrow? Oh, the, oh, the eyebrow! <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo. Yeah. That was my fave. That was a big meme. Yeah, that was my fave. <laughs> You're a legend, bro. That's funny. We gotta show it. I don't think oh. anybody, anybody was it Was it the dangers of social media? Child yeah, yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to... We, uh, by the way, thank you, Bella Simmons, for the 50 gifted. The gift of gifting. Ooh. Bella! Live chat privileges. Thank you, Bella. You're a real one. Um, Animus says, my Are dad... And my dad says, I left when I was born, had a new family, lives down the road from me. And the first time I saw him in 15 years is because I was buying weed. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nah, yeah. fuck. That sucks, dude. That breaks my heart. It's just so fucked up. Yeah, pull up. Uh, did you link me, Kobe? I did. Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of Kobe person up, Kobe per uh, reaction videos. He was one of my fave pranksters back in the day. Yo, and what was so good about these videos reacting, this one has 62 million views. Like, these were going mega viral, and it made wow. the reaction to it so much juicier. Mm -hmm. And then on Facebook, they would have even double that. Like 300 million yeah. or some shit. <laughs> Jesus. But the best part was, what, here, watch. 
person, how easy is it for a pedophile to pick up an underage child using social media? Well, today we're going to find that out. I made a fake profile on Facebook posing as a 15-year-old boy. With the parents' permission, I friend requested three girls ages 14, 13, and 12 years old. I've been talking to these girls for the last three or four days, and today we're supposed to meet up. What we found in this video is shocking and something everyone should see. Be sure to watch until the end and use Wait. what we've learned in this video to better educate your friends and family. Hope you guys enjoyed Yeah, my joke was Wait. what you've learned in this video <laughs> to be better at abducting children. The video. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it's it like, is. Oh, that's a little inappropriate, Kobe. <laughs> Woo hoo. <laughs> Let's catch and anyway those sexy kids that the predators are trying to pick up. Woo woo! Yeah, man, it just ain't like it used to be for for reactions. It's just not. That was such a crazy time on YouTube. And damn.com, that was weird. I didn't know what the fuck all that was. Pranksters. This first girl, yeah. her name is McKay. Yeah, it's it's video. Damn.com. God, that's so nostalgic. I know. I know. It was a good times, man. The content was just insane. Anyway. Uh, Leonard Katzman. That's crazy that it says I'm his grandson on the goddamn Wikipedia. But you could see how you would get the wrong idea and think I was like some Nepo baby. Yeah. You click that. What is Nepo? Nepotism baby. Oh. Like old hyper privileged. You got mm -hmm. your job through your family. You know. And then here it says. Okay, it doesn't have him in mind at least. That's good. <laughs> anyway, H three H three H three is a clown. It is really clown. <laughs> <laughs> Enrique said, "Yo, I was like, damn, a lot of people's dads left them. That must suck." And then completely forgot my dad left me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cool dad now. Oh, should we look at this? Is this good? Um, H three Google was auto complete. Yeah. Why was H three canceled? Well, that's so long. <laughs> You're gonna need a whole fucking article for that. Is Ela still with Ethan? Damn, that's a good question though. I, I guess, ask that every day. I guess if somebody hasn't watched us in years, maybe they're like, are they still together? Yeah, maybe like that. That's the second most asked question though. Is that by? Do you think Pop so? Popularity, I think so. I think so. Generally, yeah. Um, how did Ethan Klein get rich? Uh, what do you mean? His no grandfather. Secret. Yeah, Leonard Katzman left me. <laughs> I work. You know what I mean? I work. You see it. Why? Oh, yeah. Why does H Ethan from H3 blink weird? That's, a, that's actually a fair question of all of them. Does H3 have a disability? I love that. <laughs> Are H3 and PewDiePie friends? Where do you get that answer? What do you get if you type that? Uh, well, it's funny because some of these are like just random ass Wikipedias answering nothing. It says, it's a quote from you. It says, we do talk occasionally. We are definitely friendly. I would huh? hesitate to call him a friend. And, <laughs> and what is that from? Where is it pulling that from? Uh, the Excerpto article. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I realize what's happening. They looked at this and they write fucking articles. Oh. They start with this and oh, then they write sense. fucking articles to the question. Oh my god, you're right. We all just Cause... learned a lesson in journalism. SEL, does that surprise you, love? Mm, nope. <laughs> I've done the same for many websites. <laughs> what does Ela mean in Hebrew? Halo. There it is. How much is Teddy Fresh worth? I have no idea. We don't know. Google that. I need a, I need my business. Uh, I don't think there is a number because uh, it says between fifty to a hundred million. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Based on what? Based on what? A hundred million? Fifty? Anyone want looking to buy yeah. Teddy Fresh? From PipeCandy.com. Yeah. PikeCandy.com. Okay. Elon Musk. Well, that's we coming for you. Yeah, that's reputable. <laughs> if anyone out there is looking to buy Teddy Fresh, hit us up. <laughs> you just heard what it's worth. <laughs> Who owns Teddy Fresh? A net worth gorilla also says the same thing. It's just Teddy Fresh worth Damn. Like a million. Damn. Okay. To or this one is 50 to 150. Can I use it, it as an actual evaluation, TN. I wonder? Well, it says it on Google. Well, what gorilla. more do you need? <laughs> what is it called? Net worth gorilla never misses. Yep. <laughs> so hype. Gifted five subs. Thank you, Legend. 
How long has Dan worked for H3? We can answer that. It's like five, six years. Uh, if you actually look it up, what does it say, Olivia? It's 99. Like, it's a, 99. Since 1999. <laughs> oh, that's a long time. <laughs> I, I guess six, right? Because Teddy Fresh is five years old and you started like around the time. Yeah, I think almost six years probably. Uh, We're at uh, like five and a half. Five yeah. and a half. Yeah. To be specific, it says Dan started H3 in 1999 in a public gym in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. <laughs> Yeah, I think Why? that's not it's accurate in any sense. Nope. <laughs> it's actually about something else entirely, even, you might say. Tito Thornton says, can you tell my girlfriend that I love her? Why? You tell your girlfriend you love her. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> it's not going to mean anything come from me. Communication is key. Tell her how you feel. Yeah. That's awesome. Yo, we're rich as shit, bro. <laughs> that just made my weekend. 150 million, according to the gorilla. What race is Ela? I don't know. Israeli. Human. For what white? race is Ela? That's I'm, interesting. I'm white. 12 percent Italian. I right? mean, you're definitely white passing, I would say, but you are basically Middle Eastern, I would say. You're you're uh, Semitic, My, right? I mean, I have no idea. I'm, I mean, I know what. I have your 23 and Me open right now. I don't know what it's considered. <laughs> You're from Turkey, Turkey and, and Libya. Libya. You're, you're, that's what it says. You're Middle Eastern, and 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 is Middle Eastern Italian. a race? Well, well, it's uh, generally race. no. Middle Easterners are considered Caucasian uh, generally, so and so yeah. I mean, white is it? It gets. I don't know. It all gets tricky. Yo, Dan, this is yo, bro. Dan's word love is worth ten mil. I fucking knew that's it. That's so accurate. I knew it. That's yeah. so accurate. And it should be and it should be a lot more. It should be a lot <laughs> wait, more wait, than wait, that wait, if wait. we're being honest. Where did you pull this from? <laughs> I just Googled Dan's worth of net worth. Four, four million dollars a year. Holy fuck, bro. <laughs> that's right. That's right, everybody. <laughs> no, take sure to jack it off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this shit's so accurate. Mm-hmm. How old is Ethan? Uh, uh, wait, what causes Tourette's? Why is it spelled like turrets? Turrets. And, <laughs> 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 it's spelled yeah. like machine gun like turrets. Like a video game. Yeah. Turrets disease. <laughs> what causes turrets disease, bro? I don't know. What, I don't know, man. <laughs> How old is Ethan? That's like the last question. Did Ethan shave his eyebrows? I don't know. Fucking look at a picture, idiot. <laughs> They're dumb. Those are dumb. Let's Google <laughs> some ISIS videos. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The next question, it's not on that list, but it says, who does H3 have beef with? Again, <laughs> long response, very long response. Like beef jerky. <laughs> Dude, that's good. So you got my 23 me open, so do I have a cousin? Is this person blowing smoke? I, I do not see in the notifications or the messages anything. So, mm -hmm. uh, not sure what's going on with that. That's what they, uh, the kids <laughs> these days call cap. You're capping. Mm. Okay, Eli, you're Middle Eastern with Nor North African and Turkish roots. That's not white. Haha. -ha. <laughs> but then somebody else said, I'm Israeli, I'm white. I'm, I don't know. Brown. I think Israelis are generally like white passing, but I mean, I, I don't have know. no idea. So the qu if you're w asking, are you white, you need to think, what, what, would, the, what would Tucker Carlson say? <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you're white, Eli. Yeah. But the thing is, is white is not a. It's that's a. It, white is a social construct. It's not like an actual thing. So <laughs> easy for so you to say. So when they ask, "What race are you?" What is the answer? Mediterranean. We are I all think what they one mean race, is, and that is the human race. I think what they mean that's is right. nationality. You You're Israeli. Great doctor. Okay. King said. Yeah. Because race is yeah, that's a pretty weird question. Mm -hmm. I think they mean nationality. Here's one. How much does H three crew make? And of course, they're referencing H three manufacturing group. <laughs> That's um, us. You know what? Finding out that you guys are worth 100 mil, I'm going to need more than 13 an hour. <laughs> 13 an hour? I didn't even think that's minimum wage here. No, it's just, I think I it's 15 think an hour now, I know. Let me see. <laughs> or at least, yeah. Sorry, bro, but it is what it is, man. Hey, go back to Detroit. You get 13 from me, bro. <laughs> it's uh, 15 an hour. <laughs> that's pretty cool that LA's 15 an hour. That's pretty baller. Minimum wage, I think. Oh, Somebody yeah. asked, wouldn't it be Jewish? No, Jewish is not life. race. Ethnicity, Ethnicity would be Jewish. Maybe. It, again, that's why it, like that's these things are not question. very scientific. It's kind of just like a social construct. Because if you ask some people, uh, you know, uh, at least Ashkenazi Jews are definitely white. Especially, you know, is Ethan yeah. white? Is Ethan a white guy? Yeah. 
a 99% Ashkenazi, but if you ask a neo-Nazi, he would probably have a different answer. Yeah, he would say, fuck Jews. no, he's not white. Exactly. He's, he's so. a Jew. Jews. Here is a channel that we discovered called H3 Comcast. <laughs> you guys want to see what it is? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, it's great. Here's jacket off. So H3 Comcast number 10. Uh, here it is. Cause I'm coming hard. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> you put your head down like this. <laughs> It comes, come, look how it comes, come, 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 coming, and he had to come. We consider this a comp, making sure they feel comfortable and proud. Comfortable. Come, 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 the come. <laughs> come, I'll give you $50 if you want to come. Cameron, how you doing? You want to come with? Coming, and then coming, comes, comes, come, more and more. Coming. They were motivated to come, comes. It's like the balls were huge. Come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Come. If you come. <laughs> You really have to come come. Why'd you guys make this? Logan Paul's really coming so, come, come, keep This channel. Coming. Why'd you do that? Th it's not just one. Go to the channel. You Look said, how many I videos there are. There's 12 of them. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Why are you doing The this? amount of effort. I don't like the number six thumbnail, but besides that, really good. Number six. Oh, is that one bothering you? What about this one? You, you care about what I look like at all? <laughs> in my room. Look at me in that thumbnail. Awful. You look like you're coming. Oh. Here, this is number one. Let's watch this. Oh, this is, yeah, okay, let's watch yeah. that. This is the most viewed one, so let's see what's his okay. Magnus Opus. Dirty. For one guy come- I'm having someone come- Because they grinded it out of your mouth, and then yeah. you had to come- Come at the end. I like doing it with Hassan as well. Yeah. Kind of, we both come- <laughs> Coming. Boy, if he ever comes- know. He might have come- People don't age that well where I come- Come more- Come better, come more frequent. <laughs> coming coming down his fucking <laughs> face. Like, <laughs> love for you to come- We would love for you guys to come- Come- This is a Make weird channel. <laughs> oh, oh, why? <laughs> Just why? Why are you spending your time like this? The amount of effort that went into this is- can we, uh, can Let's we all... Let's give him some material. I was gonna say, can we all go around and give him some fresh material right now? Yeah, say sure. Come. A banger episode. Hey, this one's for you. Come, come, come. Come. Come on down. Come. Aw, come, come, come. 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 Coming. Come. Come. Coming. <laughs> go ahead, everybody. Come. Come. On. come. Uh, come. Lo oh. Love, say it. Love. Come everywhere oh. in my room. Come on, dude. Come, 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 come. Come, <laughs> come on come me. On now. Come. <laughs> come. Come. All right, here. Come. Yeah, go ahead, Ela, and then I'll do mine. Come, 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 come. Okay. Come here, in. ready? This one's for you. Come town or come boss, whatever. Come in yes. my eyes. Come <laughs> in my nose. Come in my ears. <laughs> come on my stump, fat stomach. Come in my eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Come on my. Sh come on my cum. Come <laughs> shoot. Come on my cum and come. Come on the cum. And then on the count of three, can we all give them uh, a cum at the same time? Sure. Mm -hmm. Like a hum, like cum, like that? Yeah, okay, yeah. We oh, got a little mantra. <laughs> yeah, you want to give us a countdown, Cam? One, two, three. Come. 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 Come, 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 <laughs> what was John Lennon's uh, uh, ex? Uh, Yoko? Yeah, I was trying uh, to do a Yoko Ono. Oh! Uh, <laughs> come! 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 <laughs> that probably is a Yoko song. Well, we haven't made it yet out of top of the show, just FYI. I know, I'm dying to talk about Twitter. Ethan's Jordan Peterson. I'll do this and then we'll do it. Ethan's Jordan Peterson impression is scary good. Oh my god. <laughs> Fable of the Three Bears is really oh god this is a lot and it's like she and it's like she went in there to taste the porridge <laughs> but instead she found a big swamp <laughs> and it was Shrek and Donkey <laughs> <laughs> This is really creepy I don't like it All right so let's talk oh, we have a great story no. about Ian too imploding the whole Kanye I'm fandom to the bathroom. But let's do Ela's uh, Twitter, and then we'll do uh, Ian Kanye implosion. Mm -hmm. Oh, you also have a PowerPoint, Olivia? Well, we're an hour and a half in, so... Um... Also, I want to do the crazy chemical peel, too. I love that one. Well, we better slam, baby. What's the PowerPoint? It's a lookbook, so it's not, like, meme history. There's no... There's no it's all you. Yeah, there's no text. Just, there's just a label of all your looks. All your slays. From the years. I like that. It was talked about... Uh, last week when we were last yeah. Friday, yeah. it was like, wow, you have really changed yourself so many times. Let's visually. hope. Let, uh, let's take a look at it. I mean, as he lives yeah. in the bathroom. Um, 
start slideshow. All right, so Ethan Klein lookbook, starting, of course, as the bronze god <laughs> before four. Before four, there was before five. Before five, there was three. Before three, there's before two. But first, new Ethan Ethoot just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Looking good, buddy. Lunchtime. <laughs> you look like a fucking snack. Look like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> His Royal Majesty. Yes. I forgot about that one. Yeah, this was one we did for, uh, we were making fun of psychics. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the Bobby Thin? Bobby Thin Ross. I like Bobby Thin Ross. Mm -hmm. I love that one. These names were all made up <laughs> by Olivia. Just... Wait, right? That's uh, been Love's Some profile harder picture. harder than others, I will say. Yeah, that is me, actually. Right. Yeah. A lot of people think that that is Love, because... That's been his icon on his Reply oh, Guy account oh, for Oh, it's this exact years. one? On the, yep. yeah. yeah, it's the right one. Atriato Context, baby. When yeah, I still text him, I see that face in my head. <laughs> um, this, right. This was a good one. I enjoyed this. <laughs> and you know who You know who paid for this? Who? Ryan fucking Kavanaugh. We were promoting one of his movies. What? Um, oh my god. It was Saw, wasn't it? Or, no. no, it was something oh, else. Wait, it Thank was... You. It was, some it was the one with Zach Galifianakis where... They're yeah, like, what was... would you build if you had all the oh, money in the world? It what was it? Master, masterminds? Yeah, masterminds. That was a, um, that was, uh, 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 uh Ryan Relativity? Kavanaugh. Yeah, it was Relativity. Whoa. Heard that. Oh my Heard god, that. plot twist. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> we could not know that. that. What was it called, the mastermind. mastermind? Yeah, it was Zach Galifianakis. I thought it was Saw. I guess that was a different one. That was one of the fattest deals we ever got, actually. So, I remember Saw was the vape, second Bait Nation. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's that's Masterminds. Right. Mastermind. By relativity, Mastermind. well, distributed by relativity media. I see that it's on their so. it's on their website. It's on relativity's website. Oh well, there you go, idiot, fucking loser. How that? How, yeah, good marketing, bro. You paid my ass. Like, I don't remember, oh, dude. I think we got like seventy five thousand dollars. Jesus, to promote that. Yo, too much wine. That was one. I don't even remember that movie, dude. It was horrible. I never even watched it. They sent me screeners. I'm not watching this shit. <laughs> I said I'll make the fucking video. I'm not watching it. That was the fattest deal we ever got. Jeez. We bought a drone with it, and then the cops got us immediately and said, you can't fly that. I said, uh, yeah. okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to keep the drone. It's awesome. Uh, the full beat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that the gamer gunk? No, this was the uh, uh, judge. beautiful challenge. Or what was it? Yeah. Don't judge me Don't challenge. Don't judge me challenge. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. The conservative's favorite. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm still not 100% on the context of this one. Was it Dude Wipes? Or? What was it? No, Dude Wipes was at a different mm. location, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure, but um, looking good, high and tight. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched since Israel. <laughs> Him? <laughs> you know who it is. Ken Bone, yeah. Her? <laughs> Look at her, the, the right slide. <laughs> yeah. photo. I love it so much. Everything. It's everything. <laughs> He's so fast. This was a fun show. I remember when we made this video, a lot of the like fans were like, this is bullshit fucking content. Why yeah. are you making this shit? Really? I love that yeah. video. I did too. But there was a time when we were doing like edgy reaction comedy and then we started posting videos. Like, and then this was, this was yeah. not edgy enough. They're like, bro, this is bullshit, lame content. H3's dead, like comments mm -hmm. like that. Dude. In that video, it's so hard for me to watch the part where they're sawing the shirt off you. Mm. I was like, oh my god. I was getting so antsy. I thought yeah. you'd get cut for sure. But just to tell you, like, this was so fucking thick. It wasn't even close to me oh, wow. when they were sawing. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> um, the CEO, sure. I see that. That's one of my favorites ever. <laughs> this is the one we did with Jesse... Uh, Wellen. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nice guy. Fun video we did with him. That edit is so sick. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he did a sick <laughs> When edit. you walk walk by all the restaurants in that <laughs> yeah. fit. So <laughs> Everyone's checking me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that. Obviously, the viral uniform. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah. The Elis husband. We also shot this with Jesse, didn't we? Yeah, it was part of the same yeah, video. Yeah, it's the four looks you need this summer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. The sister oh. special. <laughs> Dude, that shit is so funny. Ah, uh, yeah, that was fun. I love the commitment, you know. Uncle Fast, the unk. The unk. <laughs> the Jeffrey Ethan star. <laughs> the one on the left. The, Dude, this yeah, that's too 
This that is a dude. This is a little bit so of ethoot. In that one, as a, that is a little ethoot. The, <laughs> the contacts are working. I'm, yeah, I love that. And the shaved eyebrow. <laughs> Do you know how hard it was to get those contacts in? <laughs> you know how Oh yeah, I remember you were struggling for a while. Because uh, I I don't wear contacts. Yeah. I've never worn contacts. Oh yeah, that's tough. It was so weird to put something in your eye. It was so weird. The videos that I pulled the two on the side from. Um, you kept with your acrylics going like this, like telling the camera, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. And is it just because you loved the way the nail felt? I think I was like, just no, vibing. No. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I loved it. It's all right. <laughs> That's got to be one of the best. That one yeah. was insane. <laughs> Crazy. That one was so good. Holy shit. I mean, it doesn't even look like me. Oh, <laughs> <The most laughs> yeah. Yeah. forgot about that one. The curl cap. What was the context of this one? Dude, I had the same question when <laughs> she pulled this up the other day. I was like, what the fuck was even happening here? Yeah, where, where is this from? I don't... Um, I, there was, is, just, was an it? extra episode of Frenemies that it week. Was, it was funny as it was the infamous Jeff episode. Yeah. <laughs> where you were interviewing Jeff. That's what I looked like? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> or it was the same week. Maybe I it was the, the aftermath one. of... We like were in after. We had our big... That was like a big Frenemies <laughs> moment. We were like exploding on the internet at the time. That's what I looked like. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. I could have sworn. It must have been the same week. It was, yeah, the yeah. responding to David. I don't like the way my hairline looks. <laughs> yeah, because it's receded. It's, not a, it's there. a little bit receded, yeah. It just looks okay, a little bit Ethan. receded. Oh, you're Good. talking about your actual hairline? Yeah, this. I thought you were just joking. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't ever care about my hairline. <laughs> um. The Mr. Green, this one was really good. Though. That was crazy. One. So good, so good. I do miss mm. all the dress up, I'll be honest. These were so fun to do. Yeah. The Beetlejuice, that one was, was amazing. Awesome. You should keep dressing Here's up. I feel like it. it's so fun. Yeah, it's nothing. Well, we did it with, um, you know, we Halloween. did it. Halloween. It's pretty fucking expensive and time consuming. It's, it's a little It's a little bit hard to justify when I'm not getting like 5 million views per episode. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, which was nice. The budget on that show was pretty <laughs> much... We could have ridden Bezos to. We could have gone. I could have gone to space with Trisha if we were still doing friendlies. We'd be on Origin Blue going to space together. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the budget 5%. we had. Yeah, you shaved your head right after the Jeff Wittick interview fallout, and you were like, "Should I just shave it?" And then mm. you did. Mm. And then you had the curl cap. The powder puff, of course. Who could forget? The <laughs> Drizzy special. <part. laughs> that yeah. one is so funny. The boy in blue. <laughs> <laughs> this was, I think that, yeah, this was the Oliver Tree. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Little blue boy. The JF. The Hefe. The Hefe. Oh, the Hefe. Uh. My name Jeff, eh? <laughs> that was a vibe. And, of course, the newest. That's just the Ethan Klein. Oh, that's just me being me? <laughs> you know how it is. Lunchtime. <laughs> okay, cool. There you go, Slathan. What will she do next? <laughs> You'll have to watch to find out. That was fun, That's actually. Fun. That was a nice little walk down memory lane. Yeah. And Ange uh, Ange Angelina says, I worked at a very big retail company and made me stand outside during COVID counting customers while I was miscarrying with no brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me read that again. Let me read that again. <laughs> I'm in Brazil. I'm considering what I'm considered white. In the US, I'd be considered George Zimmerman. I'd be considered being murdered by George Zimmerman. Right. I see what you mean. Yeah. You're saying people get pretty dark skinned in Brazil. There's like a whole cast there, I'm assuming. It won't let me go to the left, guys. Yeah, <laughs> just, it just won't let me go to the left. I don't know what the fuck to say. God damn this thing! Are you this... just trying to see that message again? Yeah, yeah, Here, yeah I got yeah. it for you. I worked at a very big retail company. They made me stand outside during COVID, counting customers while I was miscarrying with no breaks. How does that? Uh, I, I I I don't know a lot about miscarrying. But um, that, I, it, I know that sometimes orally you can take a pill if it's early enough and 
maybe you're I, I I'm not super informed it, on how mobile okay. you can be while that is happening. You yeah. definitely need a break. That's all. I yeah, yeah, you yeah. should sure. have a break. It warrants a break. Yeah, I'm probably not. Excuse me. Standing I think outside. I'm having a miscarriage. Uh, shut the. F get outside and count. Thank you, by the way, to Elaine Christian for the 50 gifted. What Whoa, Elaine. I thought it was free speech. <laughs> Thank you to Prolapse Penguin. Nice to see you. Five, five gifted. We may have lots of new peep folks. At the I, I thought comedy was alive and well. Yeah, well, you thought wrong, bitch-ass ninja. Hater of the show. Enemy of the show, ninja. <gasps> Dumbass idiot. <laughs> he is, love. Thanks. I'm glad you took my side against him. Of course. All right, so let's get into um, Hila's, uh Twitter drama. I have to pee now, too. Oh. oh. My Lord, you I've been do chugging that. this. this week. I've been Gators, chugging the uh, water. How bad do you have to pee yeah, right now? Do that to me. I'll be right Just back. Just after you read all the comments in Dono's. Oh, you I'm got nothing You're going to leave me dry. <laughs> there's, lots of, there's still lots of stuff. There. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing a few people asking in the chat about uh, Bradley. Um, oh. So I guess I can address that because yeah, I think yeah. originally when we talked about it, we had said that he was going to be here today? today. Yeah. Yeah, but um, the, a scheduling thing came up last week, and so it has Zach been confirmed, right? Uh, yes, it is uh, December second. Okay, which is a Friday. Just wasn't sure if that was confirmed, confirmed, but yet yeah, uh, December second, another Friday Donnie. episode. So Ela will be here, and yeah, uh, I will. It's going to be a fun one. We've, we're planning some yeah. stuff for Mister Mister Martin. And I think it's going to be pretty entertaining. I've been exercising, and I feel fit for this interview. Really? Oh, oh I see. What a, what kind of exercising? You have, um, you have like a, a, I have a trainer. trainer? Yeah. yeah, and it's twice a week, and every time she kills me, and then I'm sore pretty <laughs> much until the next time. Sure. That means it's working. It is. It is. Actually, the reason I started is because I was having terrible back pain and mm -hmm. I was like, is something wrong with my back? So I went to finally see a doctor and he was like, no, it's just muscle. You just need to work on your muscle, basically, because I was showing him where it hurts. And he was like, that's a very typical, just weak muscles. Sure. Um, so I was like, I just have to do it because I, I kept putting it off. It's so hard to find the time. Um, and since I started, my back actually doesn't hurt, which is crazy. Yep. It's like crazy. Yep. Awesome. I, uh, I had a similar thing. Mine was induced because, uh, years ago I was in, within like a period of, uh, I want to say it was like three or four months apart. I got in rear ended really oh. severely, uh, in my car twice. What? Yeah. Like. Back to back. It was both times sitting at red lights and somebody just plowed into me. And so I had really uh, bad back pain after that. And I thought it was just going to be like that for life. And yeah, yeah they instructed me the same thing as really? like it, uh, working out those muscles will probably help a lot. And they were right. And I still struggle with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But generally, yeah, if you work on your core muscles and everything, it can severely reduce like the pain. I mean, I, it shouldn't be like so surprising to me, but but I'm so surprised by it <laughs> because I don't know, especially with the boys having to pick them up and sure. put them down, pick them up and down. It's been like some days my back was just like I couldn't do anything and now it's just gone. And and Bruce has been giving us a really hard time lately at nights. He's not sleeping through the night. Uh, so it's a lot of picking him up, putting him back. And normally that would have like killed me sure. on my back and now I'm fine. So give it up. Give it up. Yeah. You're giving me like electric chair with that hat or something. Electric chair? I like I just, that. I just walked over and saw your ass like <laughs> something's going on with that hat. I like hat. that. That's you like the electric chair? Yeah. Okay. Hardcore. All right, so Ela Dude, this is crazy. I feel like <laughs> this is a crazy this is kind of insane. Let's just start. How you think? Shut the fuck up, Jordan. I'm sick of your idiot ass. <laughs> Raffle. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? You know what Jordan Peterson calls um. Eight hundred DPI. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. What like, the fuck was that? that? My fucking. I, yeah. What is that? I don't recognize that. What was that? Hold on. 
800 DPI. <laughs> what the fuck are you watching? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. I think it's your mouse. Yeah. Why is your mouse? 3,200 DPI. What the what? fuck? <laughs> Dan, it's like I've a, never it's pressed this button. Key. I've never pressed this button to change the DPI on the mouse. It has this plus that, and minus. The Liter voice of your mouse? Yes. No. Go again. 800 DPI. What? Yeah. what? Oh. Sounds like a Halo kill. That's fucking sick. <laughs> it does, yeah. It's fucking like, savage, you gotta do it. Double uh, kill. I've had, that, I've, Thank I've had that exact mouse, that's why I recognized it. <laughs> that scared the <laughs> shit out of me, bro. Oh I was God. so confused. I was like, what is the sound bite? I thought it was Zach. 800 DMI. <laughs> 200 DPI. <gasps> what the fuck? So I'm gonna pull that That's now and just creepy. play it at random. <laughs> People are saying Dan's mouse's voice is hot. <laughs> really? Maybe By the way, thank you to Sohabe for another 20 gifted, you legendary Hello. guy. Uh, hello. 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 Just to follow up on the red post convo with my friend, the Elon Stan. I sent him the link and he said we're all lib idiots. <laughs> sent a pic of Ethan and he said Ethan can't run a mile under 23 minutes. Money! <laughs> three minutes. That's. From, I wonder if I could go a mile in twenty-three minutes. I think I could. I think yeah, I could do twenty-three a mile. minutes. Is a long time. For <laughs> yeah, I, I was just. I wanted to be confident. I think I could do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I could do that. I think you could just walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walking fast. You'd have to walk fast. Yeah. Right? Which you know, not always easy. Uh, a new crew member dance mouse. <laughs> I see more people <laughs> dance mouse. His voice is hot. What the fuck? Hit it again. Eight hundred. Yeah, it's sort of like it's got that like. Yeah. It's kind of an accent. I don't think he's a native English. Three thousand two hundred DPI. Yeah. He seems to have some kind of Scandinavian accent. Play again. Eight hundred DPI. Did they say he says DPI is not native? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably just some dude on Fiverr that they made uh, say that. <laughs> just a follow-up post. Oh, I just read that. All right, let's do. So let's get into this fucking let's thing. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, like many people, are enjoying watching Twitter implode. My favorite. Um, yesterday, it was really popping off. There was this <laughs> news because Elon offered this ultimatum. I think this is it here. He called it Twitter 2.0. Here's a text message of the email must send to Twitter staff overnight. Those who don't commit to being extremely hardcore by 5 p.m. ET today <laughs> must leave the company. Now, again, this is insane because I said this before. With Tesla and SpaceX, he's able to exploit workers because they're passionate about the project. Mm -hmm. Twitter is not the same. Yeah, you're, you're spot on. These on are that. engineers and they want to be fucking paid and they want good working additions, and if you don't give it to them, they'll easily get it somewhere else. And by the way, he should not have done that even with Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah, it just but shows what a shitty employer clearly is. clearly was doing that. Thank, Thank you, Lena. So oh my god, much. you brought candy? I wanted, I felt like I needed a little bit of sugar or You need a little hit? To not start yawning on the show. Because I don't want to disrespect our beautiful audience. Oh. Respectful queen. It's a respectful queen right there. And so basically he gave this ultimatum. He says, going forward to build a breakthrough Twitter 2.0 and succeed in an increasingly competitive world, we will need to be extremely hardcore. This means working long hours at high intensity. Only exceptional performance will constitute a passing grade. Bruh. I'm already I How did he even put this in writing? I know. And there's so <laughs> many leaks. Like, I love how everything just goes public immediately. Can you imagine? Twitter will also be much more engineering driven. Design and product management will still be very important and report to me, but those uh, writing great code will constitute the majority of our team and have the greatest sway. I love that. He's like, hey, yeah, so hey, all you fucking losers, by the way, take a back seat. Yeah. Why would you even say that? Like, mm -hmm. why are you going on your way to diss the other departments? At its heart, Twitter is a software and server company and I think this makes sense. If you are sure that you want to be part of the new Twitter, please click yes on the link below. Anyone who has not clicked yes by 5 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday, will receive three months of severance and be fired. Whatever decision you make, thank you for your efforts to make Twitter successful. So, so the only right answer to this as an employee is to not click the link, in my opinion. Three months severance? Yeah, hell yeah. So it, it was reported 
that it, they started the day with 2,000 employees, and it was reported, I guess it's been amended, but what I heard is that they ended the day with like between two and 300. They lost like 90% of their workforce. No, it, it's definitely more than that. More? Well, the latest updates I've seen is about 1,200 employees quit yesterday. Wow. So and that's like 60% of their workforce. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it was, because they've already, he immediately fired half the staff at Twitter, like a few weeks ago when he came in, and then has been publicly firing random employees that like, criticized him on Twitter <laughs> yeah. over the last few weeks. And then this uh, ultimatum that he gave yesterday, it, I, I've seen various estimates. It sounds like about a half of the remaining people quit again, which I'm seeing estimated around 1,200. So it sounds like there's probably about 1,000 employees left at the company, whereas they started, when he came in, it was like it was 9,000 or something like that. 9,000? So, wow. Yeah. So we're, we're way Why down. Why have 9,000 employees? Well, that, what do you mean, why? I, I mean, that's, Twitter. I, mean, I don't know. It's running. Sounds the like wall, you have the basically. same opinion as Elon. That's what he was saying. I mean, he's about I mean, to I'm find out. With, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know much about like the inner work, but nine thousand employees run Twitter. I mean, well, who's like, moderating all the content? Know, basically, who's... every person in the world is on Twitter. So oh, we're so, seeing seventy five hundred. Just seven. So we're talking about moderating team and everything. Yeah, I mean, there's so that all makes kinds sense. of things. Yeah, you and, need... at, and then they they their revenue comes from ads. So I'm sure a huge like ad sales department, and then all the administrative people, HR, with a moderating engineers. team. That that makes sense. Yeah, actually, well, they, they spend Dungarn. hundreds of millions per year on innovation. It says on their uh, like end of the year sheet. Innovation is Twitter. Yeah. Well, they they yeah, were like, hey, you can't even year, add an edit button. We went from 128 yeah. characters to 250. <laughs> Spent 100 million on intervention. That's been the biggest innovation. What the fuck innovation? Innov intervention? Literally 300 million dollars a couple of years ago they spent on one year. I'm sorry. Dave. Okay. Well, I'm good. I guess I uh, good job, that. Twitter, on the innovation service. Push us <laughs> forward in the future. Uh, Chelsea, by the way, thank you for the 10 gifted. You absolute. Queen. I sent AB a message on Discord earlier, but I am texting with my friend who got laid off from Boulder Office. He has some interesting information. I don't know what that. What is Boulder Office? The oh, Boulder that, Office of Twitter. Oh, let's get him on the line. We need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need him. <laughs> Chill, Ninja. <laughs> yeah. So, um, excuse me. <laughs> but the reports were super interesting. It was like people were getting locked out. Eventually, so many people left that they shut, they revoked badge access and they shut down all the offices. I and people were getting it. locked inside the office. <laughs> Elon had to beg someone to come back to open the doors for them. I don't know if that was a joke or if that was real. I think it was real. I think it was real too. <laughs> So, uh, from 15 minutes ago from New York Times, Twitter had 7,500 full-time employees at the end of October, which dropped to about 3,700 after mass layoffs. The employee number are likely to remain fluid as the dust settles on the exits with confusion abounding over who is keeping a tally of workers <laughs> and running <laughs> other workplace systems. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, the, it's the, like they literally don't yeah. know how many people work for them anymore. They don't even have someone keep, like, counting anymore. They fired HR. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it's a free for all there. It's like a battle royale. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who's even on payroll? There's gonna be so many like uh, Milton from Office Space situations. Well, and they don't even know because <laughs> guess guess who else they lost? I guess their whole payroll department quit. So there isn't even anybody Holy in shit. payroll. <laughs> and, and so yeah, the other thing that's interesting is how been are they gonna run the next payroll? Dude, because you know, there's chaos. deadlines. You have I, to. I just wanted my stapler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so what's interesting is there's been a lot of whole departments leaving. There was like the server side, some really critical infrastructure. The whole team left. Yeah. And so, here's some of the uh, here's some of the excerpts here. A number of engineers tending to multiple critical systems have been reduced to two, one, or even zero, according to people familiar with the situation, who spoke on the condition of uh, anonymity of fear of retaliation. Elon retaliating never. The crisis came in response to an ultimatum. We read that. I know of six critical systems like ser serving tweet level of critical, which no longer have any engineers, a former employee said. There's no longer even a skeleton crew manning the system. It will continue to coast until it runs into something and then it will stop. According to the New York Times, employees at Twitter 
just began hanging up as Elon Musk was <laughs> talking during a video conference call today. Wow. Apparently deciding to quit and take the severance. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, three months is pretty generous. I would totally take that. Yeah, good luck getting that with no payroll. They're not part getting it, though. Who's cutting the oh, check? Shit. I had the same thing. They're not going to get it. <laughs> they're not going to get it. No, nah, they're going to get it. Well, they might get it when <sighs> a lawsuit inevitably happens, but... I don't think they're getting paid until they I didn't it. think about that. I think he's just doing that for PR. Money! So that everyone's Money. not mad at him, but I don't think mm. any of those people are getting severance. Damn. He just wait, dude, the he's guy's gonna so underwater. He's going to get sued. Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah. Bet your ass he couldn't get sued. Let's not talk about... How much you. wrongful termination? Yeah. How much... Uh, severance not being paid, and you know, this is in California, right? The labor laws here. Is it in LA? No, it's in San Francisco. San Francisco. The labor laws in San Francisco are insane, I'm sure, too. I'm familiar with LA because that's where we're here. Uh, yes? <laughs> As of six minutes ago, Andrew Tate is back on Twitter. Let's oh. fucking go. What about me? Wait, speech what about is me? free Shut again, up. baby. Shut up. Free speech. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up on TikTok. He's letting everyone back on Twitter but me. No I'm jumper and me now. <laughs> <laughs> no jumper tweeted that out it, as an announcement for Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate are now back on Twitter. That's what about game. me? Wow. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> I think he'll get banned, honestly. Unbanned. Maybe. I don't know. I think he's a butt hurt. Your account's I, I, still suspended, so yeah. as of right now. I have I have Mine a pretty is still suspended. <laughs> I have a pretty compelling <laughs> argument that this was a direct retaliation against me and Ela because he's actually butt hurt that we were goofy. <laughs> because I, 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 so let me just stop. That? Let me play it out. Let me play it out, Dan. Don't don't poo poo. <laughs> just listen to me. Andrew Tate's back on Twitter. Yes, just what the world needed. No. <laughs> so if if so if Jordan Peterson starts being like um, Elliot Page is. Elliot Page is destroying little girls budding breasts. Starts going like that. What's gonna, is nothing going to happen? I would rails. presume not, because that's what he got banned for, and that and now he's unbanned. So I don't think awesome. that that's against the rules anymore. The mob. Is this real? The mob. Wait, is this real? Yes, yes, that's real. Oh. By the way, remember Jordan could have just erased that tweet and got back any time. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Andrew no. Tate, mastery is a funny thing. It's almost as if on a long enough time scale, losing simply isn't an option. Okay, bro. Oh, this was your grand scheme, right? <laughs> Such is the All way part of the, of the plan. Yeah, bro. I can't stop winning. It's your girl. It's your girl. I can't it's your stop. Girl. It's your girl. <laughs> This was all part of my master plan. Shut up, idiot. Quartering? Oh yeah. Oh, is he? Is he? Oh, he's he's. Let's see, quartering. He's pissing. Oh, he's. Ha I mean, okay, yeah, it is funny. That was the point. He the likes the joke. He's a low IQ inbred loser. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. That's what I agree. I mean, yeah, I also think it's funny. So, I'm glad you like the joke I made. That was the whole point. Right, like, right, okay. dude. Jordan Got Peterson. It. I'm looking at his Twitter right now. He must have been going through massive withdrawals from Twitter because he's fully on a tweet bender right now. He's tweeting really? like Cam, a million Cam, times. Cam, was <laughs> you're not familiar. Jordan Peterson tweets like that every day. He is so unwell. Oh my God. He he's, tweets like a hundred times a day. Level. He's tweeted so much in the past. Yeah, it's uh, next level. He yeah. does that every day, and you wonder. This is one of the great intellectual leaders. He he he's he's unhinged. He posted seven tweets in a matter of like five minutes. <laughs> it's like he was doing No Nut November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, what a shit show. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I'm counting right now. I'm at 23 tweets from today. Like in the last like hour? Last uh, within four hours. Okay. That's status quo for him. I'm serious. He is yeah, no, that not. sounds about right. He's the most psycho tweeter maybe uh, that I, I'm aware of. Twitter's a rat hole. Yeah, so anyway, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then, okay, so more reports are coming out. Twitter just alerted employees that effect immediately. All offices are temporarily closed and badge access suspended. Apparently because they were afraid of, of uh, 
disgruntled employees trying to sabotage or steal secrets or something. I don't know. Um, Elon posted this, which actually, I was going through the replies. So all last night, everything was just rest in peace Twitter, Twitter's yeah. down, everyone's just saying their prayers. It was like, there's nobody left, it's just coasting along, like on autopilot, till it hits the damn side of the wall or something. And um, check this out, how do you make a small fortune in social media to start out with a large one? Okay, so I read the quote tweets. This is 100%, like I didn't see one supportive tweet. <laughs> I hate you, we all hate you, you fucking prick. You will never know love. You will never really truly fucking know if anyone loves you. Only toadies and psycho fans know love. And you deserve it, you heartless fucking ghoul. Choke on your money. I was like, oh my damn. God. And it has 500 likes too. I was like, oh shit. Wow. That's pretty fucking. Since we're being sincere, I just want to say that it was pretty shitty of you to buy something millions of people love and even rely on for their lives and livelihood and then set it on fire to amuse yourself. I actually thought that was a good point. Yeah. That is what's happening. Yeah. If I was given a choice where I could either be remembered as a visionary who took ma a man to Mars or a thin-skinned, incompetent, <laughs> universally loathed ship bag who spent $44 billion to destroy Twitter, I think I'd go a different way than you. Yeah. That's well said. I mean, they're all just bad, 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 bad. <laughs> you lost $44 billion and no one likes you. Let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What a mistake he did when he walked in with that sink. Dude. Like, do you so, not know how memes work? So crazy. Sir Elon. He thinks he does. <laughs> oh my god. But like, in fact, people still like him after this. But like, this is meme cuck dumb. <laughs> like, if he, he is to memes what cucks are in the right ring world to betas or whatever the fuck. I mean. Bad news, sir. We had surprisingly few takers on our offer to work twice as hard as the same pay on a site that caters exclusively <laughs> to neo-Nazis. <laughs> Damn. Who could have seen this coming? There's a bit of Hitler in everyone. That's true. Oh, sure. That's a fair point. Um, so, as this is all going on... Yeah. Meanwhile, actually, Twitter headquarters in San Francisco, this was even just straight... Um, being projected onto the building. Elon Musk, pressurized, privileged, petty, racist, megalomaniac, uh, worthless, billionaire. Here, let me. I don't think that's going to get claimed, but a bankruptcy baby. Let's play it anyway. Yeah. Supreme, you get the idea. Supreme parasite, petulant. Uh, they're they're really uh, playing with the apartheid profiteer. They're they're. Having a lot of fun there with the wordplay. That was just all in the building. It was a free for all. Um, thank you, Silk and Cookies. Listening to um, B Ami B Bobby and re realizing how many hilarious gifts this show has blessed us with. P -p -p Party till I die. Yeah. <laughs> Love y'all. Shout out to my husband. Thank you. God bless you. We so, listened to that this yeah, morning. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> we haven't jammed to this in a while. She later. claimed our shit, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second time. The Party Till I Die one, I think, slipped by, but... So, as all this is going on... <laughs> saying you missed the funniest one, Space Karen. Space Karen. <laughs> I like that. That's a nice, uh. that's a nice thing. So, okay, now this was Ela on her Twitter account. Okay, so last night <laughs> we were home just on our phones and I was like all consuming this shit, loving it. And I was like, hey, I never tweet. This is the time to tweet. Twitter is dying. Yeah. And so I was like, Ethan, what should I say? And then we were like, um, you know, Twitter went downhill since Ethan was banned. That was the first one. This has been downhill ever since yeah. they banned Ethan. And then Which is e true, actually. That is actually true, right? And then we both <laughs> were like, related. this is so fun. Ethan, what else do you want to tweet? <laughs> and I, you know, first of all, this was all Ela tweeting. Yes. And we thought, oh, it would be fun just to taunt Elon and Twitter support because nobody's there. Nobody's there. Yeah. Dude, you know nobody's there. Like, let's be fucking real. There's nobody checking Twitter support. <laughs> the office is closed, and this is how I know that Elon is such a petty little fucking bitch who's doing this out of retaliation. I tagged him. He saw this in his verified mentions, 
And by the way, he banned it for impersonation. There's no, first of all, this is Ela's account. There's no, it's just a picture of me. There's no yeah. re evidence that this is a um, impersonation going on here. Also. Really, there's not. This is it's a joke. It's just a fucking joke. What it's, happened to comedy? It's comedy. Ha <laughs> ha. It's just, it's literally just a joke. It's I a didn't, joke. This isn't even what, um. This isn't even what Banavating is. This is her account. I didn't make a new account. You know what I mean? It's I'm, yeah, was and I'm not. Alive and well. <laughs> I'm not trying to pretend to be Elon Musk or to be Ethan Klein, dude. So which I, I may have wanted to, but it it wasn't even possible. You can't change your name. And by the way, yeah, I tried to ch we tried to change it to Elon Musk. So that'd be the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um. And you know, there's no, you know, there's nobody there. This, she got permanently banned for this fucking post yeah. in an hour. You fucking know. Wait, it was really that close? Or that? Yeah. Uh, Dude, it was, it was so fast. We woke up. It was, was so permanently fast. Permanently banned. Yeah. <laughs> Elon, you know, yeah. manually did that for yeah. this compound. That's the only option. For it, sure. Also, it was at night. You're telling me that this is their top priority while everybody's <laughs> leaving the company. <laughs> it's on fire. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> top Bro. priority. The ban is on fire. This account for, for ban. It's, it's not. It's like not even like an urgent issue. It's like one stupid. And it joke. wasn't like spam tweeting. It no. was just this. It's just I, a picture of me smiling. There was no reason. <laughs> there were no red flags. There's literally like. First of all, I'm not surprised we're banned. No, I'm not surprised. That, we that, were that laughing the whole time, yeah. having like a really great time, but. <laughs> This is so dumb. Uh, just to get you right to court, like all these idiots who go, oh, he's complaining about getting banned. I'm not complaining about getting banned. I think it's funny that it happened. Obviously, there was an attempt in like the dumbest way possible to get banned to bait Elon. I, and he actually took the bait. It had to be him. I told Ethan, like, this is fine with me. Let's burn this account. I totally expected this. Dude, and like, this isn't an urgent issue. This isn't like a flagrant violation. The building is on fire! <laughs> and this is the top priority within hours? Also, we're a married couple. <coughs> I'm a verified influencer. This is my husband. Like, I'm not, wow, uh, yeah, this is so dangerous. It's not We a gotta ban this account. Yeah, so the tweet said, this is Ethan, you fucking loser, at Elon Musk, at Twitter Sport. I'm banned evading. Well, stop me now, bitch-ass loser. <laughs> the joke was that nobody's there, right? And, but Elon's there. Of course he is. Uh, this app's been downhill. And then I did this one too. Suck my dick, Elon Musk. <laughs> and tagged him. And then this one, footage, uh, a footage of Twitter employees stripping utilities from abandoned office. I thought that one was funny. Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and then, um, and then Ela got, Ela got uh, suspended. <laughs> it's got to be him. And it's not even really in violation. Like, usually... It's not. What is the violation? Yeah. Now, now the reason I do think it's him is also because look at what he tweeted today, yeah, where he's like hate speech something. Where was it? Uh, can you go to his Twitter? Because I'm not logged in here. It's in the doc, um, number eight. Okay. Uh, he tweeted. Oh yeah, this was great. But this same, the next day. I mean, the same today. day. Yeah, today. Today he tweeted this today. He says, Kathy Griffin. Wait, go up, read the first part of it. Yeah. Okay, new Twitter policy is freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. It's like, okay, well, really innovative, bro. This is... We reached? Uh, well, let's finish, but this, this tweet is... Nega he yeah. says, negative hate tweets will be max de-boosted and demonetized. Oh, like, yeah, demonetized. So no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from the rest of the internet. Then he follows up by saying, Kathy Griffin, who was reported alongside me for being mm -hmm. banned by Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, known tran uh, a, a transphobe. I don't know who the fuck Babylon B is or if that's a joke. I don't know what that is. Babylon B is, um, what do you call it? It's like the onion for conservatives. It's like the onion, but not funny, basically. Okay, okay. Yeah. And Trump decision has <laughs> not been made yet, okay, but... Um, and Andrew Tate was let on, but my account is mysteriously uh, still permanently banned. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, Ela got permanently banned. You yeah. can't even <laughs> really say that we were, that I was ev ev ban evading. It was Ela's yeah, Twitter account. It's arbitrary. Yeah, it's, t it's just, it was literally a joke. Well, it's it, a sounds, joke. it sounds like he's considering mine hate tweets. How is yours a hate tweet? 
Hate because tweet is about said, like minority. It's like uh, a hate tweet would be about like a yeah, protected no, group. Yeah, you are Elon. you are singling out a protected group, billionaires who own Twitter. Yeah. Well, okay? just, <laughs> uh, also, just as a side note, he spelled Kathy wrong and also Jordan wrong. Yeah, both of their <laughs> oh my names. God, you're right. <laughs> oh, so he's a bad speller oh, wow. too. Mm -hmm. He said Jordan. He tried to spell it out. Oh, I hate him for that. Yilong Ma is probably a better speller. <laughs> my favorite part though Money. is. New new policy. Mm -hmm. We're going to shadow ban hate speech. Yeah, that is quite literally com the number one complaint of yeah. conservatives uh, yeah. about Twitter before he bought it. That exactly. it that is like he <laughs> specifically narrowed in on the exact thing that they were supposedly also pissed off about. I'm going to suppress hate speech on Twitter. New policy. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I think he's like, I'm gonna. She's just, but I'm, somehow they're all buying it. Like it's some weird psychology game that he played on them. Some of them are actually starting to turn on him, as you'll see the next link, because uh, there, there was another uh, development about who's not getting unbanned, and they're not happy about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like it's hard. I feel like with almost certainty that he is. Specifically, went out of his way to ban Ela and not unban us. It's like straight up a grudge. I think it has to be because, like we said, the Twitter was like crashing last night, and there was so much going on, and they went out of their the way to ban my account. The offices were <laughs> locked down, and it no wasn't. Badge it access. wasn't like I was 3 messing. Three a.m. I wasn't messing with like insulin. You know, there wasn't like some big problem with what I tweeted, except Elon Musk. <clears throat> but you gotta love that actually. We were able via Twitter to actually fucking get under this 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 loser ass fucking shitty meme sink sink let this sink in Elon I got under your skin you bitch yeah got it <coughs> but we'll see maybe maybe my account will come back and then we'll be cool again um <laughs> we'll be best buds yeah we'll he's he, my best he'll friend. be friend of the show <laughs> Elon Musk is my best friend I love him um. So basically, he I've seen people. I've seen multiple people say your account is unbanned. Check again. I I, I don't know if it's like mine was just. So I mine or Ethan? They're going. saying Ethan's. It says your account is permanently suspended at the. Yeah, top I don't think so. Mine I think too. It that's says permanently suspended. The fake Ethan. I think they're getting. I think they're getting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're getting tricked by the uh, oh, impersonators. Yeah. yeah. My account is permanently banned, and I doubt I will ever yeah. get it back. Yeah. Mine too. If yours permanently banned, then that's some fucking bullshit. It says permanently banned. Oh, it does say that? It does look. Yeah, so, so Elon got... It just updated and it yeah. says that. Yo, that's fucking I retaliation. I screenshot. So. Dude, I have no doubt in my mind. None. None. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So there it is. Can um, we show them my appeal? That I oh yeah, I'll pull that up. So it. of course, uh, Ela appeal. It was in that same uh, album with the Ela tweets. What number is it? Uh, I think it was eight. Uh, let me look again. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, six. So um, Ela, of course, rightfully um, appealed it. As did I. I appealed mine. I said, "Yo, parody was in the header and the fucking description." <laughs> Ela's uh, appeal is a little different in tone. And, and then Ela rightfully appealed it. She said, she say, uh, tell us the problem you're having and we'll tell them. We'll, uh, I wrote, I posted a joke that my husband was tweeting as me last night. It was comedy at its, at its finest, in my honest opinion. <laughs> and since comedy is now legal on Twitter, can I have my account back? I'm a verified influencer. Ela Klein, look it up. Is anyone here? Hi, Elon. By the way, if you're the only person left, want to slide in my DMs? I'm a hot male. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Thank you, they said. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so he's actually a spite banning people. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> what a, this guy's actually spending his day spite banning people on Twitter. Holy fuck. Comedy is late. And he, he actually tweeted out. Comedy is legal again on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. And he's the most pun this is the most punitive and insane Twitter has ever been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like by far. This would never happen on Twitter. I mean, he's explicitly saying that we're gonna shadow ban you if 
if your tweet is negative. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That tweet from today, that's what, it, that's what he's saying. Super yeah. crazy. Yeah. This is what Ela says, same as mine. Your account is permanently suspended. Yeah. It's like, you're telling me that I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'm ban evading on this verified user's account with a million followers. And you're permanently going to permanently ban that one. Okay, got it. I've essentially been banned from Twitter. Like, usually on that kind of thing, there's oversight. There's like, well, we got to make sure we're making the right decision. It's clearly Elon. So anyway, continuing on... He states, and this is where the right starts to turn on him. Um, this is this is a big deal. He says, uh, "Bring Alex Jones back." What should Twitter do next? Bring Alex Jones back? He says, "No." Ooh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, are you actually on Twitter? No, I'm not logged in. Okay, because don't scroll. Because um, another funny detail about all of this is, if you recall, Elon when back earlier this year was talking about buying Twitter. His big like issue with it is that it's overrun with bots. It's yeah. all bots or whatever. His replies have never had more bots. And also, you have there's just straight up hardcore porn in his replies. <laughs> like, just just full dick. <laughs> like Wait, Cardi B last night posted a porn video. It was so funny. Wait, if you uh, scroll through his replies, you will like, you will so, see. I don't remember what she said. Bunch so of porn. Twitter dying or something, and she is just like a lots of dick kind of porn. <laughs> just lots of dicks. Describe it to me, and I should describe it to me. Um, maybe Ian can help me. I wasn't. I didn't have sound yeah. on. I didn't it, get to see it. I only saw a, a it screenshot. It looked like a lady on a boat. I don't know if yeah. she was singing. It was almost like a music video vibe, but yeah. it was porn too. Okay. <laughs> she was like, you know, big hair and. Oh, there's and, dicks everywhere. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. That's interesting. <laughs> she found some interesting stuff. It sounds like she's been waiting for this moment. Um, so here's the people's <laughs> response. He's not bringing Alex Jones back. If you give freedom of speech to some, but not all, you're no different than they were. Oh my God. How could you say that? <laughs> he's not different. He's worse. <laughs> Way worse. But I thought you said people don't get banned. Only specific tweets that break the rules. I don't understand. Oh man. Wow. I actually disliked the Musk tweet. So you aren't for free speech. Got it. Uh, we've kind of been trying to say that. You know, it's been bullshit the whole time, I just time, made some silly obviously. jokes, and he permanently banned both me and my wife. Uh, <laughs> so, where's the free speech? This contradicts your free speech stance. I do not agree with Alex Jones, but he needs to be able to speak along with everyone else. You should try to justify your position here rather than just saying no. Exactly. Wow. That's, a, that's actually a deep thought. I mean, it's not even really a liability for them to have Alex Jones on. Like, technically, if he was wanting to do free speech, Section 230 protects him from whatever Alex mm -hmm. Jones posts there. Alex Jones would be sued personally, but Twitter wouldn't be liable. So, like, legally, I don't think there's a problem. No, there's no problem with any of it. It's yeah. never been about that. It's always... He's sponsors. He's just catering exactly, sponsors. Exactly. It's oh, And that's the thing. Everybody thinks it's a, the woke left. Everybody who works at Twitter is the woke left. It's never been about that. It's That's corporate America, baby. Actually, like, all social medias that the right thinks is like all woke left, it's literally just people who are appeasing corporations. Yes. 100% yeah. across the board. That is capitalism. This but is, it's actually <laughs> worse now. Way, way, way worse. And by the way, Cardi B posted this after the porn yeah. video she dropped. <laughs> my Twitter was hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's such a good gif. <laughs> Fuck, we missed you, Wendy. Shit. Just Peace saying. and love to Wendy Williams out there. The Hodge twins. Hodge twins. Who the cares? Hog twins. The Hog twins is Why? more like it. <laughs> Seth Weathers. Didn't think you ever went to Epstein's Island. Why cave the team censorship? Wait, what does that mean? Now he thinks he did? This is cowardly. Free speech should apply to all. I agree, Sarah Scott. You know what? I say mm. let. <laughs> I say let Alex Jones back on the website. It's free speech. And God damn it, I'm a free speech absolutist. It was free speech. Let them all back on. Why can't Twitter be a platform for everyone? Exactly. Pedophiles, Nazis, and Alex Jones. Let them all back on. That's <laughs> why he bought Twitter. Ding -dongs. That's why he bought Twitter. Make up your mind about free speech then. You're being inconsistent and obviously feeling the heat from advertisers to not unban Trump and Jones. 
I love how these people are just so cool with him losing forty-four billion. But he obviously they're like, yeah, bro, you got it. <laughs> but he's an idiot. He fucking did this to himself. Yeah. yeah. And that's the kind of the point we made from the day one. Is Trump still not back, or is he back? It no, is, and he, yeah, in that announcement tweet with Jordan Peterson, the yeah. follow-up was like, still haven't uh, made a decision on Trump. He, right. He's gonna unban him, yeah. obviously. I don't know, because not sure. cause Trump has talked a lot of shit about Elon, and as we know, he is very <laughs> thin-skinned, so yeah. I don't, I, I Elon think, doesn't like Trump. I think Elon's more about having people on Twitter, so I think it's more of a thing with advertisers where he's like, they're like, if you bring Trump back, that's going to be a problem for us. I think there might be a little bit of that. Right. I think he's at this, like, junction of, like, do you save lots of people or your girlfriend, like, from Spider-Man? <laughs> right. He's like, the my train ego, track. my ego yeah. here or my ego here because I want a lot of people on the platform. Right, right. The train track uh, 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 paradox. But then Trump doesn't get along with me, so keep him banned. Trump called me a dumb idiot. <laughs> Ban him. Uh, so all those uh, statements regarding free speech were just blowing smoke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly no right. No way. That's actually fucking right on, brother. Um, Twitter is a rat hole, though. So, like, <laughs> again, I'm not I'm not upset at all not to be on there. It's actually hey. pretty nice. Uh, I've been in, I go on there to see like what's trending, but I spend way less time on there. It's it's very it's actually it's really good. nice. Good yeah. for you. Um, bonus, actually. And a nice follow-up. We know that you're passionate about bad tattoos. Mm -hmm. Dan, can you get a picture of all the bots? Uh, with the, Does with Elon have shit? a bad tattoo? Uh, yeah. It's an Elon Musk tattoo. It's not on Elon okay. Musk. So here, you rate this for us. Um, check it out. Oh. Wait, hold on. I got to mute this. Wait, here. It, it was in the doc, actually. You skipped over it. Oh my okay, God. well, let me look at this first. Okay. Free speech. Not with the free speech. <laughs> He's got no. Are you kidding me? Boring company with the Twitter, <laughs> Neuralink, Tesla. Wow. Actually, free speech, huh? How did he? Oh my God! Free speech. I feel bad for this person. <laughs> so delusional. Free speech. Four twenty. I also wonder why is, why is tar coming out of his mouth? I think I I, hmm. I saw some others from the same artist, and all of them have that. So I think that's uh. just kind of like a signature thing he does. The the wild thing is, it's like. That tattoo artist is really good. Really fucking yeah. good. Like, yeah. The art. I'm sorry, but good luck ever getting a date again, no, bro. Impossible. The art is really great, but this guy, whoever he is, I feel really bad for him. Also, he's he's either has pink eyes or extremely blazed. He's supposed to be high. Which, <laughs> oh yeah, from the Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's blazed up, dude. Free speech, bro. The art is like amazing. The execution of this. Yeah, somebody, horrible taste, great execution. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Blaze, 420, free speech, bro. Free speech. Hey, you said a mean joke. Permanently banned. Free speech, bro. Here, just real quick. So here is, so, so yeah. Here's Elon. Um, well, what's the tweet? Show the, the, the mother tweet. Oh, I didn't screenshot that. It was, it was the, uh, it was the one last night about, um, uh, what do you call it? Can you uh, make it bigger? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta zoom on that. So he bought one of the main reasons he bought Twitter is because to get rid of the bots. Yeah. So, so here's his here's his replies. <laughs> so yeah, I went and, like he had just tweeted. I, I forget which one it was, but one of the tweets, and I scrolled down and I verified. saw this. <laughs> it's verified <laughs> at Elon Musk. Wow. Well, this is just a screenshot. Oh, they're posting the screenshot. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a bunch. It says. Thanks a million. Yeah, Spelled wrong. The screen just says, I decided to randomly choose 1,000 new followers who can participate to the biggest crypto giveaway. Hurry up. <laughs> Tesla-grant.repel.co. Yeah, it seems very authentic. So scroll down. Yeah, look at this. It was just... This is his replies. <laughs> it was just endless. <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't... This is the widest I could get it on my screen. It, there was plenty more of it, too, but just... Uh, the, the bot war does not seem to have gone too have well. Have you so guys seen, I saw somebody in the chat just say it, and I started seeing it last night on Twitter. People are saying that he faked his degrees. Have you guys seen about so that? So I saw that too. It's just this random Reddit thread. Uh, I, I'm curious. I'm kind of waiting to see more. I mean, because I don't really, yeah. it doesn't really, I don't really care. It's not like he, he owns all of his companies. It doesn't matter what his credentials are. Right, but uh, it had something to do with... It he, is pretty pathetic to lie about your credentials, yeah. you know? Well, it's more than that. It's because he is... Uh, he 
it was, I, I assume he is now, but at the time was not a U.S. citizen. And so mm. his visa was contingent on him being in school. And apparently he uh, dropped out at some point and never actually got the degrees and then lied about his degrees on his application for his mm. work visa. Um, Yo, would that be epic if Trump becomes president and spites ex spite, deports Spite him. deports <laughs> you because, like, because, you know, traditionally someone like Elon Musk would have no problem retaining their uh, citizenship. Even right. Even uh, if they lied on their papers. But Trump, as president, probably could deport him. Yeah, see, so Capital Hunters post about it. They have all the receipts. Yeah, I, I saw the thread. It's very interesting. I, I'm going to wait for something a little bit more... It would be pretty than, dumb to... ...than um, a Twitter thread to pick up on the story. I mean, I, I, I'm inclined to believe it because he, he is a fraud, it's very but... very believable, yeah. Uh, yeah. It would be pretty see. dumb to deport the richest man in the world, and despite him paying a very low uh, percentage I don't think that would money, happen. That would, yeah, be, be not... You'd be losing some tax there. Mm -hmm. Um, So there it is. That's the story. That's um, it. That, Still I mean, developing. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, again, just in summary, I don't see any other possible reason that Elon got permanently suspended other than Elon Musk saw those tweets and acted on it. <laughs> There's no way that. Night, what was I doing wrong? Because the thing was, I mean, what's wrong with my it, tweet? Nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. my devil's advocate thing right now. The one tweet that said specifically said the phrase "I am banavating." Uh, uh, is it ban evading or it's is it a, a joke? joke though. I, like that, I'm not actually doing the action of. It's Ela's verified impersonating. Account with a That's the only people. thing I can think of in any of those tweets that I could point to and be like, maybe this is why their justification. No, they did it for ban evading. They sent the the message. Well, there you go. Yeah, mm. but but like, what is the chance that he that we get banned at like 3 a.m. The morning of Twitter having an absolute crisis. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody's I, locked out. The doors are closed. Elon reads his replies yeah, and, and yeah. looks at his tab. Uh, so I, I am I'm inclined to agree with you guys that he probably saw it. There which you go. Is Steve, extremely. Funny. You were poo pooing the idea at first, but I think I convinced you. Yeah, I I think that there's a decent chance that he saw Someone it. Someone says you are ban evading. How are we ban evading? That's Ela's account. She, all she did was post a picture of me and a joke. How was that ban evading? I didn't make literally, a new account. It's literally comedy. It's man. a fucking joke. <laughs> it's literally not legal. ban evading. Comedy is legal. It's, it's Ela's account. She made a joke. Ban evading would be me making a new account and posting from it. That was a fucking joke. Right. It's not ban evading. Ela tweeted that shit. It's a joke. And I was even confident. I was like, no way we're going to get suspended because there's like nobody left at Twitter. And then when I woke up in the morning and it was banned, I was like, oh, wow, Elon really is pathetic. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I, it's not ban evading. It's just not. Probably automated. How the fuck are you going to say automated? There's, there's no shot that was automated. You just put ban evading and then they ban you? There's no shot. There's literally 0%. On my personal trending, Elon's number one. Oh. It is? Mm-hmm. That was a new picture. About unban Elo? I, I don't I think see so, it. yeah, it just says Elo. They better fear Elo! You better, you better <laughs> fear Elo. I don't see it on mine. How many tweets uh, uh, does it have under it? Uh, 1,600. Let's go. What does it say on there? I mean, maybe somebody can get him to answer the question. It's just, it's probably like quartering. Because he, he does like people. interact with random tweets. I'm sure if he saw the Teddy Fresh shirt, he probably has been waiting for something. <laughs> oh, you yeah, think maybe. he saw that? Maybe you're right. Maybe, but still, technically... It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. Te Comedy's technically, legal. the rules should apply, even if I talk shit about him. Oh, hold on. We have breaking a uh, message from Rory Hicks, who says, Elon has led to the death of millions of mole people. Oh. If Elon calls for war, we will be there with our drill lances, says Rory of the mole people. Shout out to the mole people. He's Rory and the mole people. Well, like the boring company is a natural, a natural enemy of the oh. mole people. Mm. He's done a Infringed lot of on their sovereignty. Yeah, a lot of damage. <laughs> um, um, Ian, since you've been all over the news, can you hook me up with a reporter? Mm. Right. You've been talking to? Yeah, I know a couple. To be honest, they're really <laughs> shitty reporters. I'm not sure you want to talk to them. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> They're kind of the worst ones, so. Don't, <laughs> Don't say that. Well, how long have we been going? We've been going for two and a half hours. 
feels longer for some reason today. No offense to you guys. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just a little bit longer. All right, let's do the um, Ian's. Let's do Ian's big story then. Let me find out. Okay. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Ian. Now what? Uh, um, Ela's account got nuked while I was sleeping. <laughs> oh, this is one of the tweets? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Dan. That's Dan. The oh, that was for me when I was dying from the chip? Yeah, with that be <laughs> Yeah, and for what? And for what? The top tweet is uh, Teddy Fresh, so that's good at least. He's, wait till he spite bans like Teddy Fresh on the podcast and everything. All right. Then you'll know for sure. By the way, I have nothing to do with either of those accounts. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, um, the insider wrote an article about Ian and the Kanye subreddit. Now, Ian, during the early ages of this show, was a huge Kanye West fan. Mm -hmm. And you used to kind of talk him up all the time. And people on the subreddit took notice of Ian, that he was a Kanye head. And actually, there was a moment when you were getting a lot of respect in the community so much so, you got invited on a Kanye West podcast. Do you want to do you want to talk about that a little bit? No. <laughs> I, those those guys have excommunicated me pretty bad. Who gives um, a shit? Yeah, well, uh, t- don't want to t- give him the clout. But uh, yes, I was I was esteemed. Yeah, was they lo- somewhat. You- I was somebody. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And so much so that. Um, it was um, one, what was the occasion that we got you modded on there? Someone reached out. What What's the story behind how you got the mod? Uh, one of the mods on the Kanye sub reached out and said that they wanted to make me an honorary moderator <laughs> because they thought that I was representing the community uh, well. He was the, mm-hmm. that, that says a lot. Yeah. So you got the honorary mod status. I was a beacon of terminally online white men who care a little too much about hip-hop to a weird degree and we love that group so, that, that, Kanye's entire fan base yes mm-hmm. that Different. is a marginalized group and uh, watch your mouth, uh, Ian. don't this don't don't degrade them and so the mod list for the subreddit is public on the bottom of the list of like six people is Ian's name Ian H3 <laughs> and actually they didn't know but you're Reddit account has no literally no power within the subreddit. You have no access. No, it it was basically just for show. Um, Mm. They gave me a key to the city, essentially. (laughs) That doesn't open a single lock. Right. (laughs) And so, when all the Kanye West um, controversy started happening, I guess some reporters reached out to the mods. And so, how did this reporter contact you, Ian? Uh, yeah, I got a Reddit DM from a reporter from Insider, mm-hmm. and they were asking for comments uh, and an official stance from the Kanye subreddit on his recent action. <laughs> That's so funny. And so you took this, uh, what, was your, what was your thinking here? As a person who has not moderated a single time, I thought I was in a great position to make a statement. <laughs> I asked if he had talked to any of the other mods. He said no. No, uh-huh. no responses from the other mods. Yeah, you. What had... made you actually choose to reply to this d- Reddit DM? I just thought it would be funny yeah. for me to. Um, yeah, to represent them. Write just the most dramatic. I don't know what they're doing over there. I did not go to that subreddit. I I have not modded that subreddit. I have no idea. But I made a bunch of stuff. It's up. all made up. <laughs> yeah. Were you surprised they printed this? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's the message you sent. Is this all you sent them? No, we had a little back and forth. This is a, like a sample, though, of like how I was communicating. <laughs> he was sending me questions, and this was kind of like how I was responding. So, so <laughs> you want to read it, or you want me to read it? I, I can read it. I, he asked yeah, me, yeah. what has it been like in the Kanye subreddit? I said, the world as we know it is gone. <laughs> Diehard fans with no country, a flock with no shepherd. Swept out to sea with no lighthouse to guide these poor souls back to shore. <laughs> Many left this desolation for the pain was too much, seeking refuge in the distant lands of r slash Frank Ocean. <laughs> but for those who remain, they walk amongst this valley of ash and fire, 
with eyes that do not see, for they are now Kananon, husks <laughs> of former posters, and they are lost. So for a reporter to actually read that and say, this is, this is breaking stuff here. Yeah, this is You're real good stuff. You're obviously fucking with them, or looks, you would expect them to think, but, but they turned this into an article and, um, it got re-articled. This goes on, like, a lot of people are reporting <laughs> yeah. on this now. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, let's read part two, Ian. <laughs> Uh, he asked, do I know if the mod team has had to ban more people than usual? Now, I made it very clear I don't even really mod this page. <laughs> they they chose not to see that. Yeah. yeah. And I said, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how many bans they're doing, but you ever seen the movie Ants? <laughs> when the termites attack, I'd imagine it's like that. It's a bloodbath out here. Users are shitposting their way to an early ban grave. Accounts with years of karma, gone. <laughs> Fedoras are flying off. <laughs> Lines in the sand are being drawn. Users cradling their graduation vinyls and sobbing into the night. Sorting by controversial is a Dante's Inferno trip to the seventh circle. <laughs> the mods can try to hold the seams of reality together, but their counsel is doomed to be cast into the abyss. Have you ever seen the movie Green Lantern? It's like that one too. <laughs> so. Um, and is it's there, so good. there's no analogy to Green Lantern, right? Uh, that, that was just to throw it out there, or, do you, or did you want to break down that analogy? Well, I was us? sort of saying like, because I was saying the mod, the council of mods are holding the seams of reality. Yeah. And I was thinking of like the Green Lantern aliens that they watch over the universe. Right. right. There's a lot of high level activity going on on the subreddit. Okay, so, um, that, that was, so that was a good analogy for them to unravel. Yeah, again, a professional journalist read this and said, let's fucking go with this. That's fucking retarded. Well, I wouldn't say that Kanye. word, uh, Kanye, but I, you're right, actually. The sentiment is correct. So here's the article. Um, did they tell you they were going to print this? Yeah, he was... I sent him all the... I would send him an answer like that, and he'd be like... Okay, cool. And how has it been? <laughs> like, have you been seeing a lot of posts? Or just he pushed through it pretty strongly, and then he told me, "All right, I'll let you know when it goes up." I said, Those Great. insider people Amazing. are on a tight deadline. Kieran, uh, Kieran Press Reynolds, uh, you got got. Here's the title: A moderator of one of the biggest Kanye West internet forums says the page has been a bloodbath <laughs> since the rapper's descent into anti-Semitism and conspiracy theory. It's interesting how that one word really caught on fire, like all of them are saying it. They love the bloodbath. Yeah. yeah. Over the ma last month and a half. Weird how they left the ants part out, though. <laughs> I thought the Green Lantern and the ants was more, uh, was more apt. Well, because he said it's a bloodbath like in ants, so it was specifically related. So I don't know, it was such a good analogy, I don't know why they left that out. <laughs> oh yeah, so the Reddit forum has over 700,000 members. Over the last month and a half, the musician Ye has uh, sparked backlash for a flurry of incidents. Insider spoke with Ian Slater, a 28-year-old honorary moderator. Okay, so they said, <laughs> they said honorary. Yes. Now what? <laughs> Slate said the page has turned into a bloodbath uh, with many users getting banned. Kanye, uh, yeah, so... It goes what? on. You could skip down um, a little bit. The world as we know it is gone, says <laughs> moderator of Kanye. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. So I don't know what to say, but y'all are actually like so silly for posting, for writing this. And they can't drop me. In Insider spoke to Ian Slater, 28-year-old moderator, who was once a huge fan, but said he isn't anymore. He said he has converted to a Charlie X Y <laughs> X C X guy after yeah, he's just sent into conspiracy theories. It's true. Slater, Slate. Oh yeah, Slater is also a producer and staff member of Ethan Klein's H3 podcast, <laughs> which is where he said that our Kanye Reddit team found him because he often spoke about Ye. Slayer is an honorary moderator, which means he has no access. He has access to some tools. That's not true, is it? It, like, they gave me the most, like, basic level. Like, I could mark a thing as spam. It says removing and approving new posts. You can do that? Uh, I think I can, like, you can approve a You can approve it if it gets caught in the auto mod <laughs> okay, okay, filter. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like the lowest level you can yeah. get. He doesn't exercise them. The other moderators granted him the prestigious status as a gift because he was a vocal yay fan. So he even says in here, I don't yeah. mod this page, essentially. Slater's uh, described diehard fans as citizens with no country. <laughs> the world as we know it is gone, he said. Oh. Hey, here, come, 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 come get me. 
For the, <laughs> I can't believe they're quote. I can't believe this article. For those who remain posting and commenting on our Kanye, Slater said they walk amongst <laughs> this valley of ash and fire with eyes that do not see. You cannot be <laughs> fucking serious. <laughs> yes. As Jesus he, walks, baby. <laughs> Slater says many fans turned critics have left the forum and taken refuge in the subreddit of Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. What are you? This is such a, it's all about you, Ian. It's like literally all based on your. Uh, yep. <laughs> an interview. I made sure to give my full name because I was like, I'm, I'm going to use this. Yeah, this is getting that check mark. Amazing. Yeah, this yeah. beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. But don't. <laughs> I think you shouldn't um, insult the journalist so much because this is like they've given us such a beautiful gift. Yeah, you, you better hope they don't take it down. No, no. I mean, no look towards uh, towards him at all. Iconic. Look, I mean, on one hand, yes, but on the other hand, I mean, <laughs> we talk about journalists and you do a better co- uh, job here in uh, to protect democracy and uh, well, <laughs> just say I, I bar's pretty low here. I will say. <laughs> The, out of curiosity, I did go to that subreddit and just to get a gauge of what people are saying. Yeah, a lot of people are against what he's saying, but if you do sort by controversial on all of these posts, there's some shit going on. Yeah, it's all very downvoted, but there are a lot of high-level conversations happening. I can imagine. Yeah. I can literally say anti-Semitic shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Again, he continued. I mean, this is all yeah, just it just it's keeps crazy. There's really nothing but. It's just, it's about Ian. Funny. That's the whole article. When asked his stance on Ye's anti-Semitism and other controversies, Slater said he didn't support Ye's recent actions and was done a- acting as a full-time publicist for the musician. Mm-hmm. And was Basically, resigning. me saying that to you, Ethan. I'm resigning. <laughs> I know, you keep trying, but I keep asking. <laughs> I'll keep asking. The final, the final thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you know more about him than any of us, so I still think, like, you know, you are an authority. <laughs> You wrote the. I mean, you wrote a screenplay about his re- life, right? Look, I've got <laughs> some. I've got some article links I can send you, and you just read those. Okay. Okay. All right. The president. Yes. Yeah, so, um, very funny, very crazy. Good job, Ian. Yeah. Made a great segment here for the show. Good job. And then. So N. Oh yeah. Mm. We'll throw yeah. back. Here comes the salaried employee. Amazing. What now is NME like a prestigious? Uh, yeah, it's big music press uh, so, in the UK. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> and they reposted the article, rewrote about it. Kanye West moderator says Paige has become a bloodbath. <laughs> and then and later, twenty eight revealed he's stepping down. <laughs> it's basically the same shit re- reprinted, right? Yeah, different different authors on all these. <laughs> they got the easy job, man. What do they just fucking? And there's another one from the Independent. They kind of they kind of yeah. print everything, don't they? I think Instagram asks for three articles, Ian. I know. Oh. Yep. Boom, done. Oh. Boom, one, two, three. Documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two rules. Let's not look become a bloodbath again. Kanye they West, it. moderators of rappers' biggest Reddit forum, says the page has become a bloodbath. Now what? Some users are shit posting the way to early ban. He said. <laughs> Again, like you said, Dan, an ant, like an ant, like an ant, ants, the movie, <laughs> like an ant. It really bloodbath. evokes like a the image because I remember that movie and <laughs> the bloodbath. I mean, the the termites they're spitting acid. It was a like uh, hundreds of ants are just getting burned alive and it's brutal. It was, it was like brutal. Saving Private Ryan, yeah. with ants, like the Kanye subreddit. Right. Just like, yeah. Exactly. And then finally, oh, they've used a picture of you here. Someone, oh, we someone got a picture. Got this as a sponsored post on Facebook. Really? Oh. They should. <laughs> Kings of A and R. You know what would have been best is the one of you in the background of the picture with Kanye. That would have been awesome. Oh, Why is this yeah, picture? they did. Fuck You're up. like, come I at me, this, Kanye. This is. <laughs> the most like Reddit mod looking man. Yeah, yeah. totally. I'm, like, I'm wearing a I own Bell Delphine spit hat. <laughs> this is a guy that's online a lot. They really got cool you ass good, dude. <laughs> that's a cool ass dude right there. Yeah, they got you good actually. You're right. Yeah. And so word comes around to the Kanye West subreddit, and they are not happy with Ian. At all. Oh, shit. I mean, the comments have actually flopped, I think, it when they realized it was a back. joke. Yeah. 
and I went and I, I made a little comment in there, but mm-hmm. um, if you were to sort by controversial, I'm sure you'd see some stuff. It's anti-Semitic a, things. I think that's exactly what I would see, right? Yeah. Well, Dan, I didn't look at the comments before it, when it was like all pure Kanye stuff. It was you saying I was catching a lot of heat. Yeah, no, more than Ian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan has nothing to do I, with this situation. I, nothing. I, I, and all the comments was like, oh, he works for H3? Fuck Ethan Klein. <laughs> oh <my laughs> How did I do? It's just like, what? They're like, okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Nothing to do with that one. <laughs> yeah, but so 5,000 upvotes, that's, that's a lot for I the... I mean, you started by being Jewish. First problem. Huge problem. Issue number right one. Okay. Here, oh, that you got sticky. Is this your comment? No, or? that this was uh, one of the mods there. Uh, he does link to Ethan's or to Ian's comment. Yeah, so the bloodbath comment here. Ian from the H3 podcast, who I made honorary mod in 2018 for shits and giggles. It seems like insider approached him because of comments he recently made on the well known podcast. Today, Ian explained his bloodbath comment here, <laughs> which I'll open in a separate window, and has decided to step down as an honorary moderator. We wish him the best of luck and will be expecting an apology on tomorrow's podcast for squeezing every bit of clout out of his honorary <laughs> mod title. <laughs> Refusing to do so will result in a class action lawsuit filed on Kanye Cork. <laughs> what the fuck is Kanye for? I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, these guys are in deep. Let me see I'm Kanye. Not I think it's, oh, it's I'm private. Making that court oh, it's date. a joke, probably. It's probably a joke. Yeah, that's a real subreddit. It exists. I mean, yeah, but I... um, you have to read my statement. My statement's basically what I said here in the you screenshots sh- I showed, just saying that I was just fucking. Around. Damn, I miss. Yeah. I wish you guys captured some of the people who are really angry because now it's just like H three memes because I got. Cr- Cross reference. Oh, just sort by controversial. But there was ones that like, <laughs> which which one of you fucking mods did this? There, I'll, I'll find up it. There somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I can yeah. definitely like find that. genuine anger. It should be. You really want me to go controversial? All right, give it a shot. I'm going in. I'm going in. What's scary. What clout chasing mod did this? Hmm. Has it really been a bloodbath though? We don't know. Ian never actually went there. No way. <laughs> Sure, as a moderator, I'm sure he has seen the worst of it, but nearly all the threads and cons I've seen that are anti Semitic, racist, even pro MAGA are heavily downvoted. Ah, it's a bloodbath. Yeah, insider wrote it, so fuck you. <laughs> You're wrong. Kanye said nothing wrong. Okay. Oh. Cool. Which, which one of you mods is bitching? Some guy named Ian Slater, apparently, who works for H Street Podcast. Ian, I love you. <laughs> so that's just uh, that's a good thing. Oh, I love you. But you have made it clear several times you don't like Ye anymore, and that was a long before all this stuff went on. I think it's time you depart for being a mod. Ouch. Well, he did. He resigned. I did. He did. I did resign. He's out. Yeah. Uh, here, I just found one. Some guy named Ian Slater, 20 year old Reddit mod, who also happens to work on the Street podcast with Ethan Klein, and then replied to that. That makes so much sense. Also, fuck Ethan and fuck H3H3. <laughs> <H3>. I, <know. laughs> oh. I love that. I love that somehow, Ian, what do you think about that? It's like, Oh, he works for Ethan. That make that explains Ian's complete character as a human being. <laughs> yeah, Does that sum I think you up? we are all sort of intrinsically linked to you forever. That's actually yeah. true. Uh, sorry to tell you guys, you're pretty much yeah linked to me forever. We're essentially like there's like nine Horcruxes in this room. <laughs> That's true. I will live forever through you all. Um. Anyone who's still a part of H3's crew is lame as H3 himself. Like, dude went from ripping the fattest clouds to letting himself go and sitting around giving... Bro. Wait, Wait, what? These people think Vape Nation wasn't a joke. Like, what? this is what we're dealing with. Ripping he was ripping the fattest, the fattest clouds. clouds. Like, he thought that was cool. Ironically? Yes. No, he's... No, he is. Let me finish this. <laughs> Ripping the fattest clouds to letting himself go and sitting around giving surface level takes about Ukraine and Andrew Tate. <laughs> Come on, man! Make some comedy or at least some better merch. Better merch. Shots fired at Eli. Let me see a picture of you. Ian, yeah, show exactly. Before you call me fat, I need to analyze your body. And what are you wearing? Let's see your vape clouds, bro. Yeah, bro. Fucking weak. Yeah, let me see the size of your cloud. <laughs> oh, I will say that they added onto my my statement. They gave me a flare. A uh, custom flare, and it's just a clown emoji. Let me pull that. <laughs> <laughs> I got wow. got. I got owned. Hold on, let me open this. 
So they're actually mad, it seems like. They gave you the clown thing. There it is. Oh they, my they, god. Honestly, I think it's H3 fans who are, who are, came to the thread to support you. I think the Kanye guys are actually pissed. Mark. Yeah. They probably. Here's another one about you, Ethan. You're a horrible, Ethan is a horrible, disturbed, sick human being who calls for the canceling of people he doesn't like, constantly lies about others, laughed at Jordan Peterson when he almost lost his life due to drugs, <laughs> and, and that dude, well, I'm going to skip this one, uh, something about Ben Shapiro, uh, <laughs> says, oh, oh. <laughs> says the exercise, uh, says that exercise is useless, there it is! There it is. Yeah. Tate fan. And somehow white supremacist, no, that... Wait, I'm a white supremacist. No, no, no. Saying that exercise is useless and somehow white supremacy. Oh yeah, exercising is white supremacy. Look it up. <laughs> Do your research, folks. It benefits the white uh, higher. Oh, I don't know. Oh, white God. supremacist. Of course. Yeah. By the way, anything that about also was racist as fuck to Gideon. What? What? Wait, I was racist to Gideon. No. Wait, what did I say? Racist to Gideon. Okay. E Ethan is actually racist and a piece of shit. <laughs> Yep. So awesome. So shout out. I love, <laughs> dude, my haters, like my passionate haters, of which there's, it's like a growing number now, they <laughs> really live in this wild uh, yeah. alternate universe uh, where I'm like, I don't know, like how, I'm like an, it's like somehow I'm woke, but also racist. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm woke, but also, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's, it just makes no sense. It's like crazy. It's like a caricature. Um, so that that was great. I mean, congratulations, Ian. That was that was yeah, well done. That was really that was fun. A masterpiece. Bonus Incredible. meme. <laughs> oh, one more time. Yeah, Nathaniel Klansman, I believe. Uh, I prefer <laughs> to be referred to. Oh yeah, Gideon had that clickbait thumbnail about me being racist. Oh, so it, oh, yeah. oh yeah, and he changed. Right, but it wasn't much better. So there you go. People think I'm racist because that's stupid. Because of the thumbnail. thumbnail. There you go. Thanks, bro. <laughs> that was some bullshit. That was fucked w up. Dan. <gasps> no, we stand, Gideon. Right, W Dan. Mm -hmm. At least I do. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, one, one final uh, Kanye <laughs> meme, he's hanging out with Milo. Yiannopoulos, we were talking about him. He's a right-wing provocateur who went on. He got cancer over one of Joe Rogan and talked about how he, he enjoyed being molested by a priest and all this. It's pretty crazy. So Kanye's hanging out with him. He is the lowest of the low in terms of right-wing provocateur, uh, white supremacist, uh, Christian nationalist, just freaks. Also, Dude is he's wearing freak. the Adidas Balenciaga collab, and I thought <laughs> he's got beef with Adidas. Where's your spine? I think he, I think in a weird way he, it's nope. like defiant. I don't know. He's trying to be defiant. I don't think so because his like, at least from comments that I see on Instagram, his like dedicated stance, they all hate Adidas now. He's an Adidas mm -hmm. can't oh, drop. Yeah. Yeah. And supposedly they're Not fighting him. over the Yeezy designs. His lawyer said he has the rights to it and Adidas said, no, they have the rights. Yeah. I'm sure Adidas They said they that. plan on running those designs. Under a new brand is so awesome. We, they just say they own it. It's not his. I'm sure Adidas own it if they say, like, those motherfuckers don't fuck around. Adidas? Yeah. Come on. I just thought they it was kind of funny it. to see him wearing it. But why is it, what, what do you make of this, Dan? Uh, he's hanging out with Milo. I mean, it shouldn't be too surprising. I, I guess the most surprising thing is it is not that he's hanging out with somebody like Milo, but that, I mean, Milo fucking, as far as being a right-wing piece of shit on the internet, has fallen off hard. Like, nobody really well, cares about him anymore. We watched clip of like Milo. years ago. Have you seen what yeah. he's up to? He joined, like, a Christian... Yeah, he's like CBS, super... Or CV, what do you call the... the QVC. Home? Yeah, he joined a Christian QVC. It's crazy. <laughs> And he's like he's like super like Catholic now uh, or something. He's I think like, it's Catholic. He says he's not gay anymore. Right. He's, he's, so he's flamboyant. Yeah. Uh, he is so gay. Jesus uh, cured his his and, gayness. You know, even straight Milo, he's like so flamboyant and so gay that I'm not um, gay no more. it's fantastic. Oh no. Yeah. And sad also. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cookie, for the ten gifted. I people. mean, at this point, Kanye just hangs out with anybody that will hang out with him. I think so. Yeah. Said, you know. He he needs he needs yes men. And yeah. These are. These That's are, it. This just shows you the kind of people that are around now. <laughs> he's just cruising, sipping champagne like it's all good. 
Uh, Somebody said Milo used to rip the fattest bigotry. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Matt, Matt Barry, thank you for the five gifted. Let's have a pride minute for Milo. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Okay. I think. I think. I think we need to pray for Milo. <laughs> Milo Yiannopoulos. It's okay, man. You don't have to convert because there's nothing wrong with you. Dave Rubin's a, a married gay guy. Yeah, exactly. Be like Dave Rubin. You can be a shill. You can be a grifter shill and also be openly gay. Pride month. Come on, man. It's 2022. Pride, Let's pride, just pride, be pride, yourself. Pride, There's nothing better than a big, fat, juicy fucking cock, bro. I gay. Yes, gay. just think gay. about it. It's like gay. a delicious hot pie. It's just a big old so fucking, and it's shaved down to the skin like A.B. and Hassan. Not a clean, baby. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> clean, yeah. no hair and the balls, asshole. Clean, you baby. You, you shave your asshole too, A.B.? Don't need to. It's clean. Gay man. What? No hair in your lucky asshole? Man, lucky Harley. man, All right, all right, but let's stay focused. Focus. Milo, I just, I need, just be proud. God, uh, you listen, you didn't, being gay is nothing wrong. It's a Amen. beautiful thing. In fact, the diversity of the human experience is beautiful. We love it. I love you, you just the way you are. And that's love time. All. Now, He's fuck. Not... Get, you know what? Back in the fucking Christian gay CV. No more. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, get the gay out of I your system religious. and get the back fuck back to work. <laughs> You're embarrassing your friends. How dare you? <laughs> One minute's almost too long. And, and you know, I think we have to lower it to 30 seconds. This shit's way too gay up in this. Flame of <laughs> fire is gonna come out that butthole. Back in the closet, Milo. Shame on you. Who in the hell do you think you are? How dare, <laughs> how, how dare you? How dare you spit in God's face like that? You are not God! You Get him back in the closet and stay there. Lord, this is, this is your preacher, Milo. I Whoa. With some men. That's the stairway you'll never climb if you touch the dick that ain't yours, boy. Fire. Now let me tell you something, Milo. I know you've been molested by that preacher and you liked it. The Holy Spirit we moved him to another church and I swear to God he only done it three times since then. To be clear, that was what Milo said. That's not Ethan saying that. That's he what Milo said. Mi was... Milo said that he enjoyed it. I think not everybody has the. Back if people, if people here. don't. Well, he did say it earlier, but oh. I just want to make that very Milo clear. Milo said on Joe Rogan, he was molested when he was a child by a priest, and he thought it was a positive. You liked the. You liked it. It was part of what made, got him canceled because then he 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 was like, I think all. Uh, young men should have relationships with older men. He, he was basically, basically saying, like, pedophilia good. He's like, that was a good relationship that I would like to replicate from the other side. Right. Which was really sad when you think about it. Like, it's just a victim so. that's not come to terms with yeah. the real... He's, he's very dead. got issues. Yeah. He's very dead. He's got really issues. Sad. Thank you, Audrey, oh, for the... Note, uh, like, that just based on what they yeah. told me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. For sure, for sure. Uh, real quick, um, I received a message from one of the mods on Reddit. Uh-oh. Mm. They said, Dan, check your DMs. Oh, wow. Me? Yeah. Is there anthrax oh, no. in are they gonna Are they going to make me mod jacket? <laughs> be a bunch of dirt on Ian. Oh. All <laughs> Ian's mod, uh, uh, mod log... Checking my DMs on. Uh, Thank on you, Reddit, Audrey, for the ten gifted. Yeah. By the way, if I didn't say that. Oh thing. my God, what's going on? I like never. Jacket off. Never go on here. Yeah, we love our uh, LGBTQ uh, <laughs> like folks. Uh, it's a fucking shame that any of y'all made to feel lesser than or wrong what's in any in the way. DM? Um, we are waiting for Dan to check his DMs. I mean, I'm looking. It's happening. I'm, I'm waiting for my DMs too on Twitter. My DMs are a mess because uh, I also get all like the mod messages in there. So it's okay. I'm just checking Twitter. I'm just on Twitter. No big deal. I'm still suspended. Yo. Wonders. Yeah, me too. Yo. What is it? You found uh -oh. it? Hold on. <laughs> what? Dan looks oh. super excited. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot that of joints. Except. I am now a moderator of our Kanye. Yo, yo, <laughs> Hold on, let me open the Kanye Congrats. subreddit. So somebody's watching the show here. Um, sub well, yeah, I mean, somebody on their staff is a fan because that's how they originally knew about Ian. But that, that's funny because they all hate my guts. 
<laughs> well, the pe- the posters. I don't know. But the they're gonna go. They're gonna there. lose their mind when they see Danza mod. He's even more. He, Dan's even more woke than me. <laughs> He's a straight up lib. Uh, Dan H three uh, baby, uh-huh. and you even got a flare, which is uh, <laughs> Kanye saying praise. I do, I do miracles on me, or he does miracles on me, or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, what's it? The uh, angels on my body, or what is that? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what is this? I'm miracle zombie. We used to say, right or. What? I don't know. Zach would know. He used to what play you, that like all the time. Uh, miracle, he does miracles on. Yeah, yeah. He does miracles Zach on. Goes, what? And then says immediately what it is. <laughs> so congratulations, Dan. Um, Congrats, thank Dan. you. Congrats. Thank you. I've always, I, you know, <laughs> I've always been a big supporter. Mm-hmm. Wait, we're of Mr. Going. Kanye West. I've always I saw Ela trending, and so I was looking at the Dan's. Like, I, I felt yay. Stuff that based on what they made I, me. I, I felt yay. Uh, <laughs> just based on what they told me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll open that. Uh, um, set. Ian, you're being very gracious about this. Are you are oh, you happy for Dan? It's the passing of the torch. Yeah, you know, it's sort of a Obi Wan Anakin moment. He's a humble. Beautiful. He's a humble king. I know. I he will. He will do the role justice. I'm Sisters. looking forward to your press tour, Dan. That's going to be really fiery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, they're going to reach out. If you write an insider, reach out. <laughs> Duh, that would be even. I have thoughts. An article. I have There's thoughts. For <laughs> this character to come back. There is a hunger for another H3 cast member to 104. be a mod. This character to come back. <laughs> Our hunger has been satiated. Send they, that uh, post, Dila. They should have interviewed Oliver, too. I did. He was a mod on there for about a day. Where? On the WhatsApp group. Oh. Could somebody post that link that Dila posted? What's up? Uh, oh, oh, my God. I saw this the other day. This is the most... <laughs> Do you know what this is, I Hila? Don't. I do. I it's do. so much to like, explain. W- yeah, it's I was like, what? Much. Well, okay. Here. I sent it in. Uh... So, um, this was the owner of the FTX, that big crypto exchange. It just went under. He's like a criminal jet, piece of uh, shit. Okay. okay, apparently I look like him. I mean, the hair for sure. <laughs> um, and then Eli, this was this his girlfriend? So she worked at the company too, and she's also a giant piece of shit and uh, fucking super weird. Um, so that's us. Would and it? also, I think it's very unfair to compare Ela to her because she's one of the most unfortunate looking human beings I've ever seen in my I life. Mean, I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> she looks like a kid. That. Is that a kid? She is simultaneously fourteen and a fifty-five year old woman. I so, wasn't gonna uh, say that. And, I, and, and what about me? You I don't have any sympathy for me, Dan? Uh, well, he's not... I mean, you know, he's a little unfortunate looking, but like, whew, Jesus. With her? Yeah, but I see the resemblance. I'll play them in the movie. Just hit us up. Whatever. Yeah. I'm sure the comments are going to be super fucking gracious. Yeah, I'm sure the yeah. comment section is great. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> and I normally would not say uh, something so mean about a person's looks, but um, she is a fucking huge piece of shit. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, she, she, she stole like really? millions and millions of dollars from people, and is also just a mega right wing crypto grip. Oh, she so, is. Yeah, she probably sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> she like talks like that. <laughs> I think oh, I think the crypto <laughs> is in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I hope they both uh, rot uh, for what you they know. Did. Her breath is fucking beast. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. Time to invest. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. I mean, what a what a great day. What a great show. I'm so glad that um, Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate are back on Twitter for spreading um, hate against marginalized groups. Yet uh, we remain permanently banned. Andrew Tate's being suggested to me on three profile uh, profiles. Say what? what? Andrew Tate's being suggested to me. It uh, really? Uh, on three different Comedy profiles. is back, baby! Shut up. Right. Shut up. back! Fuck yes. Andrew Legal. Tate! We love it! We love it! I love it! Comedy was illegal before Elon Musk. Now comedy is legal. Now it's legal, baby. Oh, well, what's some asterisks? Like, um, uh, don't joke about certain topics. Don't mention Elon. Don't uh, impersonate Elon. Don't be mean. Yeah. Don't I believe be mean. Mean, mean tweets will uh, are not allowed. You anyway. will get shadow banned if yeah. you're mean. Right. Which you can't be mean. But at the sole discretion Kate. of Elon, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one getting plowed. <laughs> <laughs> this is your um, s- suggested follows mm-hmm. on three different accounts. No, this is just one account. Oh, you can get promoted to try to get some people to follow you? That's interesting. I didn't even know you could do that. 
Who would pay for that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only a freak. <laughs> Got out leftovers out of context, though. Shout out. <laughs> They're going to get banned. Impersonating. <laughs> Cobra Tate, congratulations, buddy. Uh, welcome back, man. So glad. He hasn't paid that eight bucks yet, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, you, does you, we're, we're about done. Does your mouse want to say goodbye, Dan, or? <laughs> so, I realized why I did it and why it had never happened before. I guess the, the driver thing, like, auto-updated and was running a little program. 300 DPI. Yeah, and I closed it. <laughs> 300 DPI. So, uh, I can't... DPI. Not, uh... 300 DPI. There you go, that's good, that's just as good. <laughs> 300 DPI. Alright. Thank you guys. Oh wait, it just reopened, here we go. Hi. No? 800, 3200 DPI. <laughs> there it is. That's a lot of DPI. 800 yeah. DPI. 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 1,600 DPI. 1,600 DPI. 1,600. 3,200 DPI. DPI. That's a lot of DPI. That's a lot of DPIs, dude. 6,400 DPI. Oh, he's getting intense. Wow. Oh, wait, I, oh, he's getting. There's excited. another. Wait, there's another level. 8,200 DPI. Jacket oh. off. Jacket off. Jacket off. Jacket off, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good weekend. 1,600 DPI. Have a good weekend. Was a fun week. Good shows. You know, thanks for being here, everybody. Tuesday for members. Mm -hmm. I'm live, live stream for the members. Nice. And what, do we have anything planned for next week that's uh, to look forward to? Thanksgiving. Oh, it's we're thanks doing a Yeah, it's kind of a fun. weird uh, week. So oh, yeah. there'll be episodes on Monday and Wednesday as normal, HGTV mm -hmm. and off the rails. Uh, however, um, Thursday is obviously. Thanksgiving, so there won't be leftovers. And then Friday, we won't be live, but we will be pre recording our traditional You Laugh, You Lose <laughs> episode on Tuesday, and then we will post that on Friday. So there will be a Friday episode, kind of a special. Let's, it's a podcast special. Yeah, it's a fun, mm -hmm. it's a fan favorite. It's always Very fun. We special. do it. It's yep. a tradition. By the special. way, people were mad on leftovers that me and Hassan did not do How to Talk to Your Family, Your Conservative Family. Oh. We're going to do it for Christmas. We're gonna mm. do that—a Christmas special. Yeah. How to talk good. to your conservative family, so for everyone at home. Uh, I got one message real fast from Megan. She says, "Dan, check your Instagram DM. My sis sent proof that 23andMe said me and my sister are related to both Ethan and Ben Shapiro." <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking shot. What was the name? I'm gonna go stand in a nuclear reactor until the <laughs> DNA related to Ben Shapiro gets shot out of my body. <laughs> what what was the name on it? I don't know. Her, she didn't say. She, she, she said my sister. Uh, cause my, I never look in my Instagram DMs, and I have ten bajillion well, it's messages. Well, recent. I mean, it must be recent. Uh, I see the most recent five hours ago, so it couldn't have been that. Oh. Yeah, hidden or un just like on. I'm in message requests. I don't all requests. Don't see it. Sorry. All right. You Thanks, everybody. See you on Monday. All right. Gabe's a, party time. Yes. Happy birthday to Gabe. Happy birthday, have a great, Gabe. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody, and uh, take care. See ya. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.